As we get underway for the first time tonight, Hayley Dickinson and uh, Chris Dickinson off to a great start there. That's number 87. He's flying out to that front, though. I'm sure young Kane O'Dell is ready to get back in the action after his long break off. He's sitting third. Oh, third at the moment. One shoots to the infield. They're going to be off the track. And but sure in the rear of the field in the number four around one, uh, three and four we go now looks like Chris Dickinson he's our number one out there at the moment 24 it's going to be Charlie Tate Kane O'Dell around the outside in the number 95 we go back of the pack a little bit more that's going to be the number 16 of our uh, Caden Brown those are your top four out there at the moment Chris Dickinson's not giving up to Kane without a fight though he wants that second spot Kane's got Kane wanting to get up to that first place but in that first place position, that's going to be Charlie Tate in the number 24. As we go back a bit further, number 21 of Logan Brown. And Tyler Scott sit the sitting at the rear of the field, which is pretty unusual for him. Normally he's up and flying around number 99, who started off pole, Haley Dickinson at the rear of the field. And looks like Amber Shaw has pulled to the infield. But Charlie Tate, our race leader, Chris Dickinson. Then we go back to Kane Deller and the number 16. That is going to be Caden uh, Brown. But yes, as we slowly make our way around the red dirt circuit, that sun is making an absolute nuisance of me up here. I can't really see since we don't have the mile laps up here. But our race leader down the main straight into one and two now. Charlie Tate. Then we go back to Chris Dickinson. And then uh, young Kane O'Della. And after that, it's going to be the number 16 of Caden Brown. 21 of Logan Brown in the mix too. Tyler Scott putting in a red hot effort at the rear of the field. And the number 99 is uh, Haley Dickinson. Onto the infield. Onto the track now. That's fine. Charlie Tate making nice lap traffic, nice ways around. Back of the pack a little bit further. Ten laps, not quite sure how many we've done and dusted. But we're down the back straight away for two and three. Young Kane O'Dell is still trying to catch up to Chris Dickinson. Charlie Tate still in our race leader though. Chris Dickinson, then we go to Kane Della. 16 of uh, Caden Brown. In that fourth spot, Logan Brown, Tyler Scott also in the mix too to round out our junior sedan. And our race leader into that main straight off of uh, three and four into one and two. We run Chris Dickinson. Here come the rest of the pack though. Bit of lap traffic there from uh, uh, Logan Brown getting around nice and easy. Kane Della still oh, a bit of a slidey there from Haley Dickinson. We've corrected it though. We're still going strong. Charlie Tate still our race leader out there at the moment. Absolutely flying, dipped up and then diving around the red dirt circuit. Chris Dickinson also in the mix too. Kane Della slipping back a little bit, allowing the number 16 of Caden Brown to catch up. We go back a little bit further. Might be a bit wet out there. Looks like it. there's a bit of red dirt mud. Red dirt mud. Red, red mud out there. Tyler Scott in the 08, 21 of Logan Brown, white flags out, I forgot to say that, Haley Dickinson in the rear of the field as well, but there goes our race leader, she collects that white uh, white flag for one more lap to run, half a lap now for our heat number one of our junior sedans, Kane Adela is making his way back up into maybe that second spot, he's got one or half a track to go, but our race leader is absolutely storming ahead, uh, 24. 24, which is going to be Charlie Tate, is our race winner for heat number one. Chris Dickinson is in our second spot. Good to see Kane O'Della back out there after his uh, recovery off from his uh, crash. But number 16 of uh, Caden Brown, also in the mix too. Logan Brown, Tyler Scott, and at the rear of the field, that is going to be Haley Dickinson with... The number four of Amber Shaw, O-U-T, out of that race. But yes, that's going to round out heat number one of our junior sedans. First race, done and dusted for tonight. Hopefully it's a quick one. But yes, we'll get some more junior sedans out in the track now. We'll be back very soon, ladies and gentlemen.
Green lights on and away we go for the second heat of Junior Sedans. Who's that with a good start there? That's going to be the number 10 of Cade Anthony. Here comes Zach Munro from the inside though. He's not giving up without a fight. He's going to slip up that inside line past Cade Anthony. He's our new race leader out there at the moment. Cade Anthony. Then we go back. Oh, Zach Munro. Then we go back to Cade Anthony. And in the number six, that's going to be Jackson Goodwin, our top three out there at the moment. Five drivers on the track for heat number two. Sean Kern in the mix two. Then we go back to Summer Short at the rear of the field. But Zach Munro in the one, three, eight. He's absolutely killing it up out there at the moment. Down the back straightaway, we run for our race leader. He's quite a distance in front. Let's see if he can keep it, though. Zach Munro. Then we go back to the number ten of Cade Anthony in the mix two. Bit of an even distance between the rest of the pack. As we come down the main straightaway, it's going to be Jackson Goodwin in that three spot. Then we go back to Sean Kerwin and Summit Shaw at the rear of the field. Zach Munro in the one, three, eight. He's trying to get that points up for the Kalgoorlie versus Esperance Challenge. Zach Munro in the one, three, eight. Down the main straightaway, then we go back to... Uh, uh, Cade Anthony in the number 10. Summit Shaw at the rear of the field trying to pass Sean Kerwin, not letting her through easy though. Starting to spread out just a little bit now. Here comes our race leader though, Zach Munro in the 138. Down the main trail into 1 and 2 we run. Then we go back a little bit further. The Cade Anthony in the number 10, Jackson Goodwin. In the number six, Sean Kerwin and Summit Shaw at the rear of the field. But my oh my, is our race leader absolutely flying around the red dirt circuit. One straight distance, I'd say, between the first place and rear, or last place. Yes, but Zach Munro, he's absolutely flying around here. Then we go back to Cade Anthony, he's in that second spot. Jackson Goodwin in the number six. In the three spot, the only two closest cars we've got around the track is our uh, fourth and fifth, which is going to be Sean Kerwin and Summer Shaw. Number 28 and number three, Zach Munro, he's not backing down. He knows where the loud pedal is on his car. He's absolutely using that to his full advantage. Cade Anthony down the main straight, though, as the rest of the pack start to follow. Jackson Goodwin in the mix, too. Sean Kerwin slips up into the infield, allowing Summer Shaw to gain an advantage. That means one less lap traffic for Zach Munro in the 138. Ten laps on the clock for these junior stand drivers up on the inside of our race leader. Our race leader gets through nice and easy. Past them lap traffic. Let's see if he can lap the whole field. I don't know how many laps we've got to run. 138 is our race leader, though. Number 10 of... Um, Kate Anthony in that second spot and the number six of Jackson Goodwin also in the mix too. Summer Shaw and then we go back to Sean Kerr. White flag at the ready. We've almost done and dusted heat number two for our junior sedan drivers. One three eight of Zach Munro. He gets that white flag. He's got one more lap to go as all Our race leader passing some bit more lap traffic as the rest of the pack starts to get the white flag. But they quickly change to that white and black checkered flag. He's going to round out our race winner for heat number two for the junior sedans. Zach Munro in the 138 putting in a magnificent effort around the red dirt circuit. In uh, second place now it's going to be Cade Anthony in the number 10. And then we head back a bit further to Jackson Goodwin in the number six. Uh, Summit Shaw. And then Sean Kerwin to round out our junior sedans. Heat races are uh, done and dusted. Street stocks coming out next. Bit more power in these ones. Bit more. A few more drivers. We'll see if we can get all of them smacked bang into one race. But yes, we'll be back. When the junior stands exit the track and street stocks start. I believe we're going reverse ways this time. Anti clock <laughs> as the pace car turns around. Yep, he didn't know that till I found out just then. 
But yes, reverse direction for our straight stocks. We'll be back in a sec, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we certainly are ready here in the Gulf Foods reverse direction for our straight stocks. Who's going to get the good start? Looks like it's going to be Jack, uh, not Jack Barmel, Luke Barmel off to a good start there. He's at that front. Jack Barmel in the number, on oh, the yellow machine. Good to see him back out driving after his nasty prang last week. But Luke Barmel, he's jumped to that race lead at the moment. We go back to Brendan Bridges in second. Tanya Kemp in the mix too. Just about two wide, three wide down into the three and four. Main straightaway we run. Luke Barmwell. Then we head back to Brendan Bridges. After that it's going to be Jamie Good, uh, Goodwin. Those are your top three. Jack Barmwell, not not far behind the top three though. He's the number 16. He wants that first one. We're still going strong around the red dirt circuit. Out of the back straight into three and four. Now the main straightaway. Reverse direction. The only car that can go. Number nine of Brendan, uh, of Jamie Goodwin. In the, just about three wide around uh, one and two we run. Luke Barmel. Then we go back to Jamie Goodwin. Jack Barmel passing uh, Brendan Bridges on the back straight. Then we go back to the 39. The 39 of Zane Humphreys. Ray Leonard after that. As we come down out of three and four, Debane straight away will get some numbers. 99, that's going to be uh, Kyron Bridges. Lockie Deller in the mix too. Tanya Kemp in the number 32 of Ben Ferris at the rear of the field. Here comes Jack Barwell though. Just about three wide down the outside. Three wide into three and four. We run halfway. Now we go back to th uh, four into the main straightaway now. Bit of a bump there from Luke to Jack. He's going to be wanting that first place. Luke Barnwell, Jack Barnwell, the two Barnwells out in front. Good to see. Nice, strong, competitive there. Then we go back to Jamie Goodwin. He's our third spot. Bit of smoke there from the 195 of uh, Lockie Della. We're still going strong, though. Then we go back to Brendan Bridges. He's in the mix, too. Ray Leonard. After that, it's going to be the 99 of Kyron Bridges. 39. There we go back to Zane Humphreys. Lockie Della, who passes Zane. Back of the pack a bit further, 71 of Tanya Camp, 32, hits the infield, who's 32, Ben Ferris at the rear of the field, back at our race lead though, One, uh, 3 and 4 we run, main straightaway, Luke Barmwell's not giving up without a fight, to Jackie Barnwell in the uh, yellow machine, the number 16, 
Then we go to uh, Jamie Goodwin, our top three. Is he going to pass it on the inside? Jack Luke, Jack Luke, who's going to get it into three and four? He's got the inside, he's got the outside. We're both going the inside, just about side by side, wheel to wheel, bumper to bumper, down the main, straight out of four we run. Looks like Jack Bum was going to snag that first place position. Luke Bum went to second. Then we go back to Jamie Goodwin, he's in that third spot. Ray let it in the fourth. After that, we're going to go back up to uh, Brendan Bridges. He's absolutely flying around there. 99 of Kyron Bridges in the mix too. Lockie Della. Then after that, it's going to be Zane Humphreys, Tanya Kemp and Ben Ferris who are almost being caught up to by our, by our race leaders. But here goes uh, Jack Bummel. Started off fourth, I believe. I'm not quite sure. But he snagged that first place spot now. Jack Barmel. Then we go back to it. Looks like Brendan Bridges who's passed Luke. Bit of a bump there from Luke Barmel. That's all right. Ray Leonard also in the mix too. Around four, three and four. And Bain straight away we run. We go back a bit further to number three and 99. Brendan Bridges and Kyron Bridges. Who's going to get the upper hand? One goes the inside, one goes the middle. Looks like Brendan Bridges is going to stay in that position he was in. Bit of lap traffic up there. Front action though. Tanya Kemp, Jack Barmel. He's been passed a few. Looks like he's passed Ben Ferris and Zane Humphreys. He's got Tanya Kemp. Now, and we go into one and two for our race leader. Jack Barmwell. Then we go back to it. Looks like um, Jamie Goodwin. Luke Barmwell, Ray Leonard passing uh, the number 39 of Zane Humphreys. After that, it's going to be Brendan Bridges in the number three. Number 99 of Kyron Bridges. One more lap to run for our race leader, though. And after uh, Kyron Bridges, it's going to be the 195 of uh, Lockie Della. But back at our race leader, though, he's put his foot on the loud pedal. He's got that first place position in the bag now. One more turn to go for Jack Barmel in the number 16. Jack Barmel down the main straight away, though. Jack Barmel's going to be our race winner. And here comes the number nine of Jamie Goodwin to snag that second place. Luke Barmel in the three. Ray Leonard in four. Brendan Bridges, number 99 of Kyron Bridges, Lockie Della, Zane Humphreys, Tanya Kemp, and of course Ben Ferris in the rear of the field in the lovely white car. Good to see it staying white for this time. But yes, that is going to round out uh, our street stocks going in the reverse direction. Up next, we're going to have production sedans. Stay tuned for that, ladies and gentlemen.
Production sedans getting the green light. Who's going to have the good start there? Looks like it's going to be the number 72 of Jeff Dickinson. Jason Whitehead, not quite. Oh, not quite as far behind him, though. Then we go back. Oh, what's going on here? It doesn't look like we're going to have a good start. Someone didn't have a good time just then. I'm not quite sure. Pretty sure someone jumped on the loud pedal a bit too quickly there. Chief Stewart, Ben, next door. Didn't like that one. But yes, uh, Jeff Dickinson with a good start there. Jason Whitehead also with a good start. And then it looks like it's going to be the 25 of Rob Borden. Good to see him back out here racing it. Again, number four of Travis Clark, Josh McAlpine, and in the rear of the field, Dwayne McHear. Apologies if I'm pronouncing that wrong. But we're going to give it a go again. Orange lights are off. Off to the Chief Stewart next door. They call the green light. Out of turn number four. Green light shines once again. Hopefully we'll go green to green or green white checkered to this one. Who's going to get the good start there? Looks like it's going to be Rob Borden straight to the front. Jason Whitehead in the mix too. Josh McAlpine and also in the mix is going to be Jeff Dickinson. All starting to spread out a little bit now. Who's going to get it? Still going to be Rob Borden, our race leader though. Then we head back to Jeff Dickinson. Josh McAlpine on the outside. And the 28 of that is going to be... Jason Whitehead and Dwayne in 25 also. And Travis Clark at the rear of the field now. As we start to make our way around the red dirt circuit. One lap done and dusted for Rob Borden who's smoking it out a little bit there. At the front of the pack, Jeff Dickinson behind him in that second spot. Josh McAlpine slipping into the third now. Here we go back a bit further. Look like it's going to be the number 25 of Dwayne, then we go back to Jason and Travis Clark at the rear of the field. Good thing that sun's gone down the live stream. You can see, oh, I can see, which is good when we don't have a live, sh uh, when we don't have the MyLap system up and running in here. Rob Borden, our race leader. Looks like Travis Clark's going to pull to the infield. He might be OUT out of this race. Rob Borden, then we go back to Jeff Dickinson and Josh McAlpine, our three front runners at the moment. Still smoking it up, not quite sure, but we're still going green for Rob Borden. Then we go back to Jeff Dickinson, Josh McAlpine. Then after that, it's going to be Dwayne McGear. And at the rear of the field now, which is going to be Jason Whitehead. Still giving it a red hot crack. Our race leader though, down the main straightaway we run, Rob Borden. Then we go back to uh, Jeff Dickinson and Josh McAlpine. Top three out there at the moment. Rob McAlpine sending it sideways into three and four. Now into the main straight. We run for Mr. Robbie Borden in the number 25. Jeff Dickinson in the 72. And then we go to Josh in the number 11. Dwayne in the 28, I believe. Yeah, oh, nope, 25. And the 28 is going to be Jason Whitehead. He's catching up just a little bit to Dwayne, but back at our front runner, though, it's still going to be Rob Borden. And after Rob, we're going to go back to Jeff Dickinson and the number 11 of uh, Josh McAlpine. Jeff Dickinson not giving up without a fight, though. He's trying to find any way he can around Rob Borden. He's looking up, down. Can I go anywhere? Inside, outside. Doesn't look like it's going to work, though. Rob Borden knows his line. He knows what line he wants to ride, uh, drive, and he's going to stick to it. It's been working for him. It's still going to work now. Who's pulling to the infield? Looks like Dwayne's going to pull to the infield, number 25. He might be OUT out. He was having a red-hot crack. Maybe we've got two out for this one. Robbie Rob Borden, our race leader, though. Then we go back to Jeff Dickinson, Josh McAlpine, and Jason Whitehead. Started with six. We ended up with four. We're still going green, though. Around one and two, we run. Then we go into the back straight away. 
Rob Borden. After that, it goes Jeff Dickinson, Josh McAlpine, and Jason Whitehead running that high line. Is it going to work out for him? We're all pretty bunched up here down the main straightaway. Probably a car length between every car. One, uh, two more laps to run now. As we fly it on around into three and four. 25 of Rob Borden is our race leader. Jason Whitehead slips up a spot. Looks like Josh McAlpine might be trying to fight for that third place now. High side, low side. Who's going to get the better of it? We're all pretty bunched up here. Jason Whitehead from the back. He might snag that third spot. And our race leader is still going to be Rob Borden. He's our race leader. Here comes Jason Whitehead for the high line. He's saving it for the end. Never mind. Back down the main straightaway, though. It's going to be a close on <laughs> three and four. But Rob Bourne's our race winner. Then we go back to Jeff Dickinson. I'm not quite sure who got three and four just then. But I'm pretty sure Jason Whitehead got that three spot. And then uh, Josh McAlpine got that fourth spot. Which is going to round out our production sedans for round number one. For round number one. But yes, uh, late models coming out next. Got a few of them. A bit more than we're used to, but that's all right. We'll get the red dirt track up and ready, which looks absolutely amazing. Good job to all the track prep crew and all the volunteers and all our sponsors that make this venue what it is. Them sponsors being uh, Kate Chola's Cleaning, Groundmasters, Goldfields Pest Control, Cal Signs, Ovs Club Services, uh, Hit 97.9, City of Kalgoorlie, Boulder, Origin, MMS, Pit Trek, Red Desert Cooling, Red Desert Cooling and Electrical, Triple M, Cal uh, Goldfields, Bus West, uh, Brooks Hire, and the many more, which we'll get. Kraken after this race. Lionel Kirkby out in that race lead though. Oh, in that pole sitting position though. David Boys, Jeff Paul, Sean Cubbage. Uh, then it's Adam Flanagan down the back straight. 42 of Robert Waters. Now it looks like the number 20 of Graham Murray and the 28 of Jack Dolmans. As we get the green light out of turn number four, feel the ground shake. We're going green down the main straightaway. Number 13, which is going to be Lionel Kirby, our race leader. Never mind, David Boy's into that third spot. Then, of course, Jeff Paul up into that race leading position now. Three and four, we run out of the back straight, almost into the main straight now. Our race leader, though, it's going to be Jeff Paul. Then we go back to Lionel Kirby, David Boy's, Adam, uh, Adam Flair. Uh, can't get me words out. Adam uh I'll get it eventually. But down the back straightaway, a bit jumbled with me words. Who's that on the infield? That's going to be Robert Waters, the number 32. But our race leader out there at the moment is still going to be Lionel Kirkby. He's absolutely flying. David Boy's behind him. Jeff Paul, our top three out there. 
It looks like Adam Flanagan is in that third spot now. Jeff Paul slipped up into the back straight. He's back into that fifth spot now. The number 20, it's going to be uh, Graham Murray slipping up into the third spot, fourth spot now. As we start to fly on around our race leader now, it looks like it's going to be David Boys. David Boys, the number 90. Lionel Kirby, Adam Fladrigan. Oh, I'll get it eventually. I'll just call him Adam in the two, uh, 426. Number 20, which is going to be Graham Murray. Then we head to Jeff Paul, Sean Cubbage, and 28, which is going to be Jack in the rear of the field. Number 90 of David Boy is still our race leader out there at the moment. Then we go back to Lionel Kirby and then Adam in that three spot now as we fly it on around a bit more. Number 20 of Graham, he's in that fourth spot. Jeff in the fifth, and then we head back to Sean Cubbage. He's in that fourth spot now. Number 28, he's putting in a red hot crack, though, which is that's going to be Jack Dolman's number 90, which he knows he's loud pedal. That's David Boyce. He's absolutely flying around the red dirt circuit. He's the main sponsor for the uh, Kalgoorlie International Speedway. He knows this track very well. He's absolutely flying. David Boyce, then we go back to Lionel Kirby in the number 13, looking absolutely amazing around the Red Dirt Circuit. As we start to spread out a little bit around the Red Dirt Circuit, still David Boys, then we go back to um, the number 13 of Lionel, and after that it's going to be Adam in the 426, number 20, which is going to be Graham Murray, Jeff Paul, Sean Cubbage, 28 of Jack Dolmans. He's going to get lap traffic, two more laps to run for our race leader and almost the rest of the pack now down the back straightaway, passing on the inside. Into three and four we run. David Boyce in the number 90. He's going to get that white flag. One more to run for our race leader out there. David Boyce, then we head back to Lionel Kirby in the 36. Adam in the three spot now in the four, two, six. 20 of uh, Graham Murray in the fourth spot. But David Boys gets that white and black checkered flag. He's going to round it out for round at number one for that late model division. David Boys, Lionel Kirby, Adam. Whoa! <laughs> bit of a bump and a bit of a slide there. But yes, that's going to round out our uh, late model division. Up next is going to be our M Car Nationals. That will finish off round number one. And then we'll get straight back into our junior sedans. But yes, I hope you're having a lovely time. If you're either watching on the live stream or yeah, out there at the track. I hope you're having a lovely time. But if you're at the track... Tune in to 93.1 FM to hear all the live commentary in the comfort of your car. But yes, we'll be back when our junior sedans make an appearance on the track. Yes, as the M Car Nationals make an appearance on the track, two laps high for our uh, two laps before we start. Just trying to pack in that loose stuff up the top so we can use that high line and the low line. But yes, some more of our sponsors who make this venue what it is, Terry's, co uh, Terry's Contracting. Brewster Ceiling, KC, GM, 
Pump Engineering's Norton Goldfields, Rhino Linings, Penn's Cartage and Cranes, GWA Automotive, um, Golf Kalgoorlie Bodyworks, AMC, Core Fleet, Wheels Carpet Cleaning, Gen West, SWG, MCM Protection, Hydromech, KBC Automotives, Coates Hire, Goldfields Crane Hire, Fiesta Caravan Hire, Red Desert Cooling and Electrical, Hydro Blasting, and of course our main sponsor, which is the Boise's Equipment, which we call uh, Boise's Equipment, Kalgoorlie International Speedway. And we absolutely love all of these sponsors who help make this venue what it is. And of course, shout out to all of our volunteers out there helping out to make the night run very smoothly. Green light down the uh, main straight away for turn four. Who's going to get the good one? Murray Parsons Sr. on the outside. Brett Morrison on that inside line. He's going to snag that first place position though. Here comes Murray Parsons Sr. Greg Horan in the mix too. Sean Mazzucchelli in that fourth spot. Now the three spot. And uh, at the rear of the field is going to be... Uh, Stephen Wright in the 53. Brett Morrison now race leader out there at the moment in number 57. Murray Parsons Sr. Then we head back to Sean Mazzucchelli, Greg Horan, Steve Wright also in the mix too. But our race leader, he knows his loud pedal. He's got his foot on that pedal as loud as he can and much pressure as he can. He's absolutely flying around the red dirt circuit. Brett Morrison, Murray Parsons Sr. dips to the infield. Sean Mazzucchelli snags that opportunity and goes right around him. Greg Horan's now in that fourth spot with Murray Parsons Sr. in that third now. In the rear of the field, Steve Wright. But our race leader is still going to be Brett Morrison, 57. Sean Mazzucchelli in that second spot now. Couple of car links between them. Not much between three and four, though. Greg Horan and Murray Parsons Sr. And behind them is Steve Wright. Back at th uh, positions three and four. Not giving up without a fight, though. Greg Horan's trying to find some way around Murray Parsons Sr. as long as Shaw Masakelli and Brett Morrison, our two front runners, trying that high line now. Is it going to work out for him? Looks like it is. Not so much the high line for the middle line out there. Brett Morrison. Then we head back to Sean Masakelli, number 96 of uh, Murray Parsons Sr. Greg Horan, Steve Wright, Stephen Wright in the 53. Our race leader, so one goes to the high line. Is it going to work out for him? Chalmers Kelly up that high line, loses a bit of ground on Brett Morrison, throwing it into one and two. He run. Steve Wright's trying to get, gain some advantage on Greg Horan. Don't know if it's going to work, though. Back at our front runner, though. Chalmers Kelly's not giving up without a fight. He almost dives in into that inside line in three and four. Down the main straight, one and two, he run. Brett Morrison, Sean Mazzucchelli, and then we head back to Murray Parsons Sr. Greg Horan, Stephen Wright in the mix too. As we fly on around to the corners three and four. Into the main straight now, Brett Morrison, Sean Mazzucchelli changing <laughs> positions on the track. Not so much. High line, low line, they can't make up their mind. Brett Morrison, then we head back to Sean Mazzucchelli. And Murray Parsons Sr., Greg Horan and Stephen Wright. 
But up on the inside, down the main straightaway, wheel to wheel, into one and two, we run. Looks like he might have the inside line here. They're almost bumper to bumper around into the back straightaway now. Very close down the back straight into three and four. Who's going to get the upper hand though? Bit of a bump there. Get out my way. I am Sean Mather Kelly. I want this first place position. He looks like he might be able to get it. Brett Morrison on the outside now. He's made a mistake leaving that inside line open. Sean Mather Kelly, our new race leader. Then we head back to Brett Morrison in second. Greg Horan slips up a spot. And um, passes Murray Parsons Sr., Brett, uh, Stephen Wright at the rear of the field, though. Down at the main straightaway, though, for our race leader. That's going to be Sean Masichelli, Brett Morrison in that second spot now. In the fourth spot, we have Greg Hoare, Murray Parsons Jr., uh, Sr., and then Stephen Wright to round out our field. Checkered flag at the ready. He looks like he's going to get it. That's going to be Sean Masichelli. He's going to win... Uh, for the first heat of the night. That's going to finish out heat, uh, round number one for our AM Car Nationals with Sean Mazzy Kelly being that winning driver. Then we head back to Brett Morrison in the 57, in the four, which is going to be Greg Horan, Murray Parsons uh, Senior, and then Stephen Wright to round out our AM Car Nationals heat number one. And beginning of round number two is underway. Green light down the main straightaway though. Who's that going to be? That's going to be Caden Brown, our race leader out there. Charlie Tate's not going to be happy with this one. Where's Kane O'Della? He's in the mix too. Our front runner though is Chris Dickinson. As we fly it on around. It's not Chris Dickinson. My apologies there. It's the number 16 of Caden Brown. He's in that leading spot. Then we head back to Chris Dickinson. Uh, Kano Della, the number 21, which is going to be Logan Brown in the mix too. Charlie Tate, bit of a bump there from Kane Della. Tyler Scott in the rear of the field. Amber Shaw in the number four down the main straight. Maybe pulling to the infield. Maybe OUT out of this one. Back at our race at hand though. Down the main straightaway we run. Caden Brown, our race leader. 87 of Chris Dickinson. Number 95 of Kane Della. And then we head back to... Uh, the number 21, which is going to be Logan Brown. Tyler Scott in the rear of the field, though. Our race leader, he's putting in a red-hot crack. Here comes Kane Della and Charlie Tate. Who's going to be able to get it, though? Number 95, as we come down the main straightaway. 95, 24. 24 is going to snag that second spot. Kano's not going to be happy with that one. Our race leader, though, still going to be the 16 
of Caden Brown. Then we head back to Charlie Tate. Uh, Kane Della, Chris Dickinson in the rear of the field, fighting against Tyler Scott. And the number 21 of Logan Brown. Still going nice and strong though. Loud pedals at the ready. They are going full tilt around one and two. Bumper to bump up for two and three, which is going to be Charlie Tate and uh, Kane Della. Out of three and four, we run Caden and uh, Caden Brown in number 16. Charlie in uh, 24. Number 95 of Kane Della. Chris uh, Dickinson, number 21 of Logan Brown. Tyler Scott at the rear of the field. As we still go green, bit of a distance for do building between Kane and Charlie. Maybe sh they want to get up to that first place position now. 24, all they need to do is overtake 16, and 16 is going to be Caden Brown. That's the only one in their way, but they're not, not quite close yet. Caden uh, Brown in number 16. Charlie, then we go back to Kane Odella, number 95. He knows where his loud pedal is. He wants to win it. Hasn't been here for a long time, but he's still got it. Chris Dickinson in the 87. Logan Brown in the 21. Tyler Scott in the number 08. But back to our back straight away. We might have a pass on our hands. Inside, outside, who's going to get it? They might get shut down into three and four, which they do. Uh, Kane Della around the outside. Never mind, they don't get shut down. He left his inside open. Charlie Tate, our race leader at the moment now. Then we head back to the 16 of Caden Brown. They're going to slip back into that second spot. Kane Della in the third spot. They're all pretty close as we go down the back straight away. They're not giving up without a fight. Kane Della on the inside. Charlie in front. Then we go back to Logan Brown on the outside. Who's going to get it out of turn four? White flag at the ready. One more lap to run. 24 of Charlie Tate, Kane Deller on the inside of Logan Brown. Caden uh, Brown, I must say. My apologies there. But Charlie, then we go uh, Kane Deller, Logan, Chris Dickinson, Caden Brown, and Tyler Scott. We've all jumbled our positions out here on the track. Our race leader, they got to take that white and black checkered flag. That is going to be Charlie Tate, ladies and gentlemen, putting in a red hot crack around the red dirt circuit. Kane Deller. Um, and the number 16 of Caden Brown. Our top three, Chris Dickinson in the four. 21 of Logan Brown and Tyler Scott to round out our field with Amber Shaw being O-U-T out of that race. Pulling into the infield. But yes, we'll get some more junior sedan action happening very shortly, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned for that. As the green lights come on for our second lot of junior sedans. Who's going to get that? Looks like that's going to be Zach Munro, our race leader out there at the moment. He's putting in a red hot crack. Loud pedal at the ready. Here comes Jackson up on the inside of Summer Shaw. And it looks like Sean Kerwin. And then we go back to the number 10. The number 10 is going to be Cade Anthony to round out our field. Zach Munro in the 138. He should be racing up with the bigger boys. But he's stuck in this one. He's absolutely flying, though. He's giving it a red-hot crack. 
try and improve his lap times as best as he can. Now race leader, Zach Munro. Then we go back to the number six, which is going to be uh, Jackson Goodwin. He's putting in a red hot crack too. After that, we're going to go back to Sean Kerwin. It looks like uh, Cade Anthony and Summer Shaw at the rear of the field in that number three spot. Still going strong. Ten laps on the clock. As we fly it on around turns number four, Zach Munner, our race leader. He's putting in a red hot crack there. Around one and two we run. Then we go back to Jackson Goodwin in the rear. Or in that second place, I must say, not the rear. Zach Munner, our race leader. In the one three eight. Absolutely flying Zach Munro. Then we go back to Jackson Goodwin, Sean Kerwin, Anthony, or Cade Anthony in the number 10, and Summer Shaw at the rear of the field. Sean Kerwin in the 28. Sitting in third place at the moment, around 1 and 2. Now into the back straightaway for Sean Kerwin and Cade Anthony, and of course Summer Shaw as well. Our race leader, though, he's at one and two, exiting now into the back straightaway with our second place, which is going to be Jackson Goodwin. Around two, uh, one and two, they go as the rest of the pack start to follow as well. Looks like Kate Anthony is going to slip up into that third spot now, leaving Sean Kerwin in his dust in that fourth spot with Summer Shaw closely following. But Zach Munro, ladies and gentlemen, he's putting in a red hot crack around the red dirt circuit, around the Boise's equipment, Kalgoorlie International Speedway. Zach Munro in the 138. Jackson Goodwin in the number six. As we come around a bit more, here comes Kate Anthony in the number ten. But looks like Summer Shaw is going to gain a spot in front of Sean Kerwin. We're absolutely dipped up in it and diving around the red dirt circuit now. Our race leader down the back straightaway though into a uh, three and four with our second place entering one and two now. As we fly it around, white flag at the ready for Zach Munro. He's going to gain it one, uh, one more lap to run for him as we come it on around to second spot, which is going to be. Jackson Goodwin, he's actually putting a red hot crack in at the red dirt circuit. Number 10 of Cade Anthony, Summer Shaw, then we go back to 28 of Sean Kellen. But our race leader is going to take that white and black checkered flag for around number 2 for our junior sedans. They're going to take it out, Zach Munro, and then the number 6 of Jackson Goodwin. Number 10, which is going to be Kate Anthony. Summer Shaw in the number 3. And Sean Kerwin in that uh, rear place. Street stocks coming up next. Bit more hectic in this one. Few more cars. Six from Cal, six from Esperance. We'll see how this one will round out. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back very shortly.
As, as we start to roll them off, two minute call, I'm not quite sure who it was for, but it was for someone. And they did not make that two minute call. But yes, going in the reverse direction, the coin flips, decides it at the start of, uh, before they go out, they flip a coin. Whatever side it lands on, we're going that way. Must have landed on the wrong side, I don't like it going this way, we're going the opposite direction. Who's going to be our pole sitter? Looks like Lockie Della, the number 99, which is going to be Kyron Bridges sitting next to him. And um, then we go back to Ray Leonard. And then after that, it's going to be the number 9, uh, Ben Ferris in the number 32. Yellow lights are off. We're getting ready to rock and roll. Jack Barmel sitting back in that sixth spot. We're getting ready. We're getting ready to rock and roll off to the Chief Stewart. We're about to go green. As we go green, green, green down the main straightaway out of turns uh, three and four. Lucky Della off to that good start there. Jackie Barmel onto the inside. He knows his line. Where's Luke Barmel? Is he going to be in the mix too? He might be in there somewhere, maybe not. But Lockie Dell is our race leader. Then we go back to the number 99, which is going to be Kyron Bridges. In that second spot, Ray Leonard in the three. After that, it's going to be 39, I believe. That's Zane Humphreys. Yes, it is. Jack Barmel in that fifth spot. Then we head back to the number three of Brendan Bridges, sitting in there nice and comfortably as well. Back a little bit further, it's going to be Jamie Goodwin. And then Ben Ferris slips back. And Tanya Kemp at the rear of the field. But Lockie Della, our race leader out there at the moment. The number 99 of Kyron Bridges. Ray Leonard. Here comes Jack Barmore up on the inside. Passes Zane Humphrey. Not quite though. Bit of a bump there, but that's fine. Zane Humphrey sticks in his place. Then we go back to the number three of Brendan Bridges. Also in the mix too. Jamie Goodwin. And then Ben Ferris and Tanya Kemp. But Lockie Della, he's found his loud pedal. He knows how to run a car. After completing all his years in junior sedans, bumped it up to the big boys, Lockie Della. He's absolutely putting in a red hot crack. Where's Jack Barmel? He's slipping back a little bit. He's in about that fifth spot now. Can he get around Zane Humphreys, Ray Leonard? And in front of him is going to be Kyron Bridges. Those are your top five out there on the track. Bit of a bump there from Zane to Jack. I want around you. I'm going to go around you no matter what you say in that 16 banana yellow car. But back of the pack a little bit further we run. That's going to be Brendan Bridges also in the mix too. And then we head back to it looks like the number 98, which is going to be Jared Bridges. Jamie uh, Goodwin in the mix too. Ben Ferris and Tanya Camp at the rear of the field. Back at our race leader though. Bit of a distance building between him and second place. Looks like Jack Barmel got around Zane Humphreys. Not quite sure when that happened. Ray Leonard slips back into three. And then in that second spot, it's still going to be Kyron Bridges. Which is Jack Barmel has him in his sights. He just needs to get around the number 12 of Ray Leonard, the snap-on man. Proudly taking a lot of my apprentice money with me buying tools at work. But he knows he knows how to race a uh, street stock as we fly it on around. Lockie Della still a race leader. Here he comes, Jack Barmel around Ray Leonard. Bit of a smoke building between Brendan Bridges in the number three. We're still going strong though. Jack Barmel has to get around Kyron Bridges. Then he only has one more, but I don't think he's going to be able to get it though. Uh, Lockie Della in our first place position. Two, three, four, and five are pretty close within a car length of each other. Who's it going to be? Brendan, uh, Kyron Bridges is in that second spot. Jack Barmel, Ray Leonard, and then Zane Humphreys in the mix too. One goes from the in, uh, infield, smack bang onto the outside. That's going to be the number nine of Jamie Goodwin. He's in that sixth spot. And then after that, it's going to be Brendan Bridges, Jared Bridges, uh, Ben Ferris, and Tanya Camp, who's getting lap trafficked up here at the moment in three and uh, one and two, not three and four. Get it right, Callum. We're going in opposite direction. Lucky Della, then we go back to uh, Kyron Bridges in the number 99. Jack Barman in the 16. Ray Leonard in the number 12. Zane Humphreys. And then after that, it's going to be Jamie uh, Goodwin. Jamie Goodwin, then Brendan Bridges in the number 3. Number 98 of Jared Bridges. Ben Ferris and Zane. Not Zane. Tanya Kemp in 71. Number 9. Uh, 16 slips up into the second spot. Here comes Raylan on the outside. I want the three spot now. 
You've lost a spot. You might lose two. Oh, no, our race leader, Lockie Della, spins it out on one, uh, three, and four. Bit of a bump there from Ray Leonard. Oh, my, oh, my. Just absolute carnage off the exit of turn four. Started off with Lockie Della smacking it in, throwing it in a bit hard, spinning it out on turn four. And Tanya Kemp tried to avoid it. Ray Leonard smacked straight into the back of her. Looks like she's going to be A-OK, -okay though. Oh, no. Who's this pulling up onto the grass? They've made an absolute mistake. That's going to be the number three of Brendan Bridges. Not going to be happy with pulling up on the grass. <laughs> the committee have tried and tried to keep that green. They don't like cars driving on it, though, but I think we'll let it slide. But yes, what an unfortunate thing for uh, Lockie Della. There he is. He's on the main straight. That might leave Jack Barmore an opportunity to get up into that first place position. Though, I don't know what Ray Leonard's doing there, but he might be joining. I'm going to say he's joining back in. Nope, he is going out. But yes, looks like Ray Leonard is going to be out of this one. That leaving May, where is Lockie Della? He might not be starting off the lead. I believe we have a cone start single file to the first corner. Whoa, it's a bit of a choppy changey one here. Kyron Bridges in that leading spot. Jack Barmel. Sitting nicely in the second. Then we head back to that looks like Zane Humphreys. Uh, Zane Humphreys then. After that's Jamie Goodwin. Uh, then we head back to Jared Bridges. Number three of Brendan Bridges. Three Bridges in here. I didn't really, I didn't really take notice of that. But yep, apparently there's three of them. <laughs> Then Ben Ferris and Tanya Kemp to round out our field with uh, with uh, Ray Leonard sending it back into the uh, pits. Well, I guess this is going to be how we're starting. I bet Lockie Dallas bummed out of that one. He was sitting in first place very comfortably, and then that stupid decision to send it in a bit hard and three and four didn't quite work out for him. But this leaves an opportunity up for Jack Barmel. Green flag at the ready. Loud pedals at the ready. Three and four. We run. Main straightaway now. The green lights come on. Who's going to get the better of it? Is it going to be uh, Kyron Bridges or Jack Barmel? They send it into one and two now. Out of the main straightaway. Uh, uh, Kyron Bridges and Jack Barmel. It's a green, white, checkered. No messing up this time. Who's smacked it on the infield? I'm not quite sure who that is. It looks like Jamie Goodwin. Yes, it looks like it is. Back at our race leader, though. It's still going to be Kyron Bridges in the number 99. Jack Barn will then go back to Zane Humphreys. Number 195. There he is. That's Lockie Della. Then after that, it's Brendan Bridges, Ben Ferris, and Tanya Kemp. Our race leader, though. Check and flag at the ready. Are they going to take it? Down the main straightaway out of uh, three and four. That white and black checkered flag is going to go to Kyron Brid Bridges. And then it's going to be Jack Barmwell in that second spot. After that, we're going to go back to Zane Humphreys to round out our top three drivers. But yes, that's going to round out our uh, round number two for our Street Stocks uh, street Stocks race for round number two. Heat number two. Up coming next is going to be our production sedans. Stay tuned for that one, ladies and gentlemen. Bit of topsy turvy racing there, but we're still going strong. We're on track. And remember, make sure you keep a listen out for when that interval is. Big old Jolly Red Man will be coming out into the pits. But yes, stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're having a good night so far. And we'll be back.
soon when the production sedans make an appearance, which they have. I'll be back when the lights start flashing, I'll say. Well, 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 we started off with five production sedans, ending up with three. Both 25 cars are out, which is going to be Rob Borden and Dwayne. They are both OUT out. DNS did not start, but we've still got three. They'll put on a good show. They're pretty fast. Off to the green light, out of turn four, we run. Down the main straightaway, who's going to get the good start? Jeff Dickinson, here comes Josh McAlpine from the outside. Jason White heading in 28 as well. Uh, that's going to be our top three drivers out there at the moment. The only three drivers out there, Josh McAlpine. Then we head back to Jason Whitehead and Jeff Dickinson. As we fly it on around three and four. Main straightaway, Je uh, Josh McAlpine. Jason Whitehead, and of course in the rear of the field is Jeff Dickinson. T only three cars out there. Makes it a bit difficult to call it, but I'll give a red hot crack. Josh McAlpine, Jason Whitehead, absolutely flying around the red dirt circuit. Looks like Travis Clark is not going to be out here either. Jeff Dickinson from Esperance for the Kalgoorlie Esperance Challenge. Josh McAlpine, he's from Esperance as well. Robbie Borden was from Kalgoorlie. Uh, but Jason Whitehead, I think he's just about our only Kalgoorlie driver out there at the moment with the three cars. Josh McAlpine, and then we head back to Jason Whitehead and Jeff Dickinson and the rear of the field. 11, 28 and 72. The cars out there on the track at the moment around the Red Dirt Circuit. Three, we run. Twelve laps on the clock. Not quite sure how many we've done and dusted. Still going strong with Josh McAlpine in the lead. Then we head back to Jason Whitehead and at the rear of the field. It's still going to be Jeff Dickinson in the 72. Nice and steady around three and four. In the main straightaway, we run. Number 11 is our race leader, though. That's going to be Josh McAlpine. In the Ford TE Cortina. He's absolutely flying around. Jason Whitehead. He knows how to send it in very hard. In the uh, B White Commodore. Number 28. And then the 72 in the VY Commodore. Two Commodores out here. On the Red Dirt Circuit with uh, Josh McAlpine. Sending it with a little bit of topsy-turvy car action but here comes Jason Whitehead he's in the second spot still jo uh, Josh McAlpine then we head back to Jeff Dickinson at the rear of the field nice and strong we go around the track now Jason Whitehead looking for a bit of room around Josh uh, McAlpine don't know if he's gonna find it though he's gonna send it onto the outside if you got your lights on in turns three can you please turn them off it may distract the drivers Still going strong though. Number 11 of Josh McAlpine. Then we go back to Jason Whitehead. And Jeff Dickinson at the rear of the field. Nice and easy around. Three and four. 
Around turn number four, we run main straight away now. Number 11 of Josh McAlpine, Jason Whitehead in the second spot, Jeff Dickerson in that three spot at the rear of the field. Oh, we've got a loose tyre. Here's a bit of action for you, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like Josh McAlpine has just slipped the tyre. That's landed in turns uh, two. That might make a bit more of action. Not quite sure how many laps were to go. Yeah, well, that's a bit of... It's a bit weird. Just losing a tyre mid-race. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that here. And I've, I think I've been doing it for three years. I don't think I've ever seen that. But yes, production ceased to amaze sometimes. But yes, that leaves only two cars out there on the track left to complete the race with the tyre in turn two. He might be getting picked up. <laughs> yes, looks like that tyre is being taken care of. Taken care of that. That is just amazing. We just lose a tyre mid race. That's going to leave two cars out there Jason Whitehead and Jeff Dickinson. I'm going to say that tyre has been taken care of since that white push ute is coming back to the centre of the field. 
Not much to say about number zero, zero. It's still in the same spot it was, I'd say, about two minutes ago. This new way of trying to hook the car up. Maybe taking a bit longer since we don't have a mana two. I think it's broken at the moment. But yes, that might be... That's I'm still amazed by that, that we just lost the tyre. But yes, never cease to amaze here at the Boise's equipment. Calgary International Speedway. Looks like someone is supporting the Dickinsons on uh, our live stream. Shout out to Jess. If you want any uh, one shout it out on our live stream or whatever, just type it in and I'll uh, say the name. But yes, it looks like we have the car moving, just in the wrong direction, but they'll be getting off the track. But yes, unfortunately, that is going to mean Josh uh, McAlpine is going to be O-U-T out of this race. And I don't think he'll be rejoining until he puts that tyre back on. But yes, that leaves two to run for the three laps out of the 12 to go. Two left, which is going to be Jason Whitehead. And Jeff Dickers, Dickers, Dickerson. And we're going green once again down the main straight for the three laps to run. Looks like Jason Whitehead and Jeff Dickinson out there on the track at the moment. 28 and 72. Nice and going strong. Throwing it into a three and four now. Three and four we run. Now main straight away. Green, white, check it as we run. Now two laps to go. Two out of the 12. 10 done and dusted. 28, still our race leader. And then we head back to uh, Jeff Dickinson in the 72. As we fly it on around, one more to run. White flags at the ready. Jason Whitehead, our race leader, Jeff Dickinson in that rear spot, or that second spot, with uh, Josh McAlpine being O-U-T out of this race. But down the uh, main straight out of turns four, ladies and gentlemen, for our last two drivers, Jason Whitehead and Jeff Dickerson. They are going to round out round number two for our production sedans. And yes, that's going to round out our production sedan drivers. Late models coming up next to make this ground absolutely shake. Stay tuned for that, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're having a lovely night so far here at the Speedway or in the comfort of your own home watching the live stream. And yes, we'll be back in a sec, ladies and gentlemen, when the late models make an appearance on the track.
Green light shined on. Oh, bit of a good start there by David Boyce. Uh, Sean Cubbage, I must say. David Boyce also in the mix too. Robert Waters straight to that third spot now. Oh, bit of a bump there from David Boyce and Sean Cubbage. One to go smack bang into them tyres. That, I believe, is going to be, was our race leader, Sean Cubbage. A bit too excited, I'd say, and smacked straight into it. With the help of the number 90, David Boys. Looks like he is, maybe... As Sean Cubbage takes off from the inquiry, inquiry bay, he wants to go rear of field, which is surprising from uh, Sean Cubbage, the VP of the Boise's Equipment, Kagoolie International Speedway. We've got them racked. We've got them stacked. We're ready to rock and roll. Here in the goal fields for round number two of our late models. Eight late models out into the track. We're going to see some red dirt fly very shortly. Out of turn three now. In the middle of them. Turn four. Main straight away. We're going green, green. Down the main straight. David Boy straight to the front. Robert Waters in that second spot. Jeff Paul in the three. Then we go back to Lionel Kirby and Adam in that fifth spot now. Then we go back to the number 20. The number 20 is going to be Graham Murray in the mix too. At the rear of the field. Here comes Tubbo around the... Oh, never mind. Good breaks there. <laughs> Went straight for that wall and just his breaks... Ah, uh, saved. His brakes saved him. My, oh my, was that a good save. Oh boy, that could have ended really badly. But <laughs> thankfully cars have brakes in them for a reason. And green, green, green down the main straight where we run. Who gets the good start there? There's cars going everywhere. Into the main, uh, into turns one and two. We run. Looks like Jeff Paul is unscathed. He's our race leader. Then we head back to Robert Waters. He's in second. Lionel Kirkby. Then Jeff, uh, David Boys. Uh, looks like Adam Fladrigan's in that fifth spot. Yeah, fifth, fifth spot now. Then we head back to the number 20, which is Graham Murray. At the rear of the field, it's the number 7 and 28, Sean Cubbage and Jack, uh, Jack, oh, bit of a bump there. 
One goes screaming to the infield. One stays put on turn two. Robert Waters, he's on the infield. Lionel Kirkby, he, he is uh, around the wrong way on turn two. On the infield, oh, Black Betty goes and sorts him out. I know. <laughs> but yes, that's the second restart for round number two. Jeff Paul, he's absolutely putting a red hot crack into it. Ah, they were just tricking that push you driver. He's like, ah, I'm going to just wait till you get in position and I'm going to just go, yeah. <laughs> but yes, Jeff Paul, David Boyce, as we put the uh, witch's hat out. Something on the track. I can't really see what it is. There's something on the track. Oh, there's two bits on the track. No idea what that is, but... Yes, yeah, so we'll get that sorted out. We'll go for the third time. The charm might be like the uh, feature for the Formula 500's last meeting. Had like six restarts, but we got there in the end. As we go, Witch's hat start down the main straightaway. Jeff Paul, David Boyce, single fire into turns one. Then it's all out from there. Jeff Paul, David Boyce. Adam Fladger again in that three spot. Then we head back to that number 20, which is Graham Murray. Number 28, which is going to be Jack Dolmans in the rear of the field with David Boyce. Uh, not David Boyce, he's at the front. Sean Cubbage and Lionel Kirby. He's at the rear for starting causing that restart. We're still going strong. Oh, David Boys getting a bit unstuck there. We've already got one out. Hopefully we don't have David Boys out. Our race leader is still going strong though. Jeff Paul, he's putting in a red hot crack. Adam is in second. Then we head back to, it looks like it's going to be Graham Murray. Not quite sure what's going on here with David Boys. Might have a flat tire or something. I'm sure we'll find out very shortly. But our race leader is still going to be Jeff Paul. Adam Fludrigan in that second spot now. Then we head back to the three spot of Graham Murray. And after that, it's going to be the 28 of Jack Dolmans. Then Sean Cubbage is in the rear of the field. Lionel Kirby slipping up spots as he races. Good racer there. Two cars, OUT out of this one. Robert Waters and David Boyce. We're still going strong though. 
three is the charm around here. Jeff Ball putting a magnificent effort around the red dirt circuit as we run. Jeff Paul, our race leader. He's from Kalgoorlie, ladies and gentlemen. And then we head back to Adam Fladrigan. He's from Kalgoorlie also. Our third spot now as he flies around. I believe he's from Esperance, the number 20. He's from Perth, actually. Graham Murray. Oh, we've got another one. OUT out of this one, perhaps. Sean Cubbage. Not looking good here. Well, yes, since he pulled off, we're still going strong with this one. Jeff Paul, our race leader. Yes, I believe that might be correct, Dave, hey, from the live stream. I think Jeff Paul might take this one. He's around turns number three, um, four in the main straight. The one and two, we run now. Jeff Paul, our race leader. Adam Fla uh, Fladrigan in that second spot now. Then we head back to uh, Graham Murray in the 20. 13 of Lionel Kirkby. He's putting in a red hot crack. He knows his loud pedal. He knows how to use it also. As we fly it around, 46, our race leader. He's going to gain that white flag. He's got one more to run, ladies and gentlemen. Paul, he's going to take one more lap along with the rest of the pack. Adam Fladrigan in the mix too. And, of course, Graham Murray, Lionel Kirkby. May I, oh, no, he's already off. And 28 of uh, Jack Dolman. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to round out round number two for our late models division. What an absolute ripper that one was. Bit of topsy-turvy starts, but we got there in the end. And our race winner is going to be uh, Jeff Paul putting in a magnificent effort there with three cars. Uh... O-U-T out of that race, which is unfortunate. But yes, M Car Nationals coming up next. Stay tuned for that one, ladies and gentlemen. Green light shines down the main straightaway for AM Car National. Sean Mazzichelli off to a good start there. Close to following him is Stephen Wright. Also in the mix too is Greg Horn, Brett Morrison, Amari Parsons Sr. Also, 
five, five of them out there on the track at the moment. Still going nice and easy around three and four we run. Who's it going to be? It's going to be Sean Mazzichelli, of course, our race leader. Then we have Brad, uh, Stephen Wright, actually. Greg Horn in that third spot. Brett Morrison in the fourth. And Murray Parsons Sr. in that rear of the field. Starting to spread out like Browns cows on a Saturday stroll to the Speedway for the AM Car Nationals Kalgoorlie versus Esperance Challenge at the Boise's Equipment. Kalgoorlie International Speedway. Sean Mazzichelli, 48, our race leader. Then we go back to Stephen Wright, who's putting in a red-hot crack. He's staying in that second spot now after finishing the rear of the field last race. Greg Horan still trying to get around him. Here comes Brett Morrison as well as Murray Parsons Sr. at the rear of the field. Nice and easily we run Red Dirt Circuit of the Gold Fields, which is the Boise's equipment. Kalgoorlie International Speedway. Sean sure, Massey Kelly got a clear lead on this one. Number 53 of Stephen Wright. In the mix too, Greg Horan, Brett Morrison, 57 he is, 69 of Murray Parsons, senior. As we dipped up and then diving around the red, red dirt circuit, Sean Massey Kelly's going to throw it in hard to three and four. Out of three, out of four, into the main straight. We were Stephen Wright, throws it in a bit hard. He might be able to continue though, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, he's continuing though. Sean Mazzichelli, our race leader, that leaves Greg Horn into the second spot now. Brett, Ho uh, M Brett Morrison's not giving up without a fight, though. He wants the second spot, too, as well as Murray Parsons Sr. High line, low line, which one are we going to take? Middle line, it looks like. Low line for the rest of the pack. Here, Ma Whoa, Brett Morrison dives towards the wall. He's on that outside line. Here comes Murray Parsons Sr. on the inside. Is he going to make it a pass? No, maybe not have enough momentum side by side down the back straight away. Bumper to bumper, wheel to wheel, nothing to nothing now. Three and four, we run. Sean Mazzichelli, our race leader. Then we head back to Greg Horan in the number four. Number 57 of Brett Morrison in the 57, well, in the 57, like I just said. And then we head back to uh, the 69, which is going to be Murray Parsons Sr. and Steve Wright at the rear of the field. He's not giving up without a fight, though. I need to find some room around you, Mr. Morrison in the 57. Greg Horan's next. He's my next victim or target. Number 96. He's sitting in that fourth spot now. Bit of distance building between Greg Horan and Brett Morrison as well. Sean Mazzichelli's just out and about having a nice Saturday drive to the sp at the Speedway. Uh, Sean Mazzichelli, Greg Horan, and then Brett Morrison in the 57. Murray Parsons Sr. and of course in the rear of the field which is going to be the 53 of Stephen Wright. Nice and easy around the red dirt circuit. We run one and three quarters to go now. Around we fly. Back straight away for our race leader which is going to be Sean Mazzichelli. Greg Horan in the second. Brett Morrison in the third spot. Murray Parsons Sr. in the fifth, oh, fourth spot, Wait, I'm getting all confused here, fifth spot, a fourth spot, and then Stephen Wright's in that fifth spot, but back at our race leader, he's got half a lap to run, well, a checkered flag at the ready, here comes our race leader, ladies and gentlemen, race winner, which is going to be uh, the 48 of Sean Mazet Kelly, so... Turn out what happened there. Had to slam it on the brakes. Orange lights have come on. Steve Wright around the wrong way. It was just about. But yes, Sean Mazzichelli is going to be our race winner with Greg Horn behind Brett Morrison and then uh, Murray Parsons Sr. and Stephen Wright. That will round out. I agree with Linton Dickinson's comment on the Facebook. Jeff Paul can certainly drive a late model better. Better than a stocky. Yes, I must have to agree with that one. Junior Sedans coming out next for round number three for our intermission and feature races. Stay tuned for that, ladies and gentlemen.
Green light shines for our junior sedan drivers. Caden Brown with a good start there. Logan Brown behind him. Then we go back to the 87 of Chris Diggerson in the mix too. Tyler Scott. Where's Kane Odello? He's at the rear of the field. Surprise change for Amber Shaw's car as the number four car absolutely died on the track. So we're doing a surprise car switch every bloody uh, junior sedan race. Amber's going to race this one. Summer's going to race the next one. Same car. That's A-OK -okay if they can pull it off. But the number 16, which is going to be... Uh, Caden Brown's making a red hot crack there as we go back a bit further. That's going to be Logan Brown. And then here comes Kane Dell with a bit of a bump there. <laughs> Kane Dell, a bit of a bump. He's going strong though. Number 95, 21 of Logan Brown. Chris Dickinson, Charlie Tate also in the mix too. And as we head back a little bit further, it's going to be Tyler Scott. And then uh, Amber Shaw with. Uh, in the rear of the field, which is going to be the number 99 of number 99 of Haley Dickinson at the rear of the field. But I'll tell you what's at the front of the field, though. A battle between first and second. Kane Deller on the outside. He might have his first win tonight. Well, not first win, first uh, race back with his win. Number 95, he's in our race lead. Caden Brown's not going to be happy with this one. Caden Brown, Kane Della. Then we head back to Charlie Tate. Got a bit of working to do there. Chris Dickinson and then Logan uh, Brown. Logan Brown in the mix too. We go back a bit further. That's going to be Tyler Scott and um, Amber Shaw. At the rear of the field, 10 laps on the clock with a 15-lap feature. As we fly it on around, a bit of lap traffic coming up. Will this make a bit of a challenge for our two front runners who are absolutely flying? Foot to the loud pedal. Kane Deller in the number 95. 16 of Caden Brown. Charlie Tate in the 24. 87 of Chris Dickinson. Um... And then we go back to Logan Brown in the 21, Tyler Scott in the 08, and Amber Shaw in the number 3 car, the VM drilling car. Our race leader, though, he's got around that lap traffic of uh, Haley Dickinson. Nice and easily, though, not so much to be said about second place of uh, Caden Brown. Never mind, I might stop saying that every time I say something that changes. Here comes Charlie Tate from that third spot now. Pretty even distance between our top three out there at the moment. Bit more of a distance between three and four. Four is going to be Chris Dickinson. Two laps to run for our pack now. We go down the main straight for uh, Logan Brown, Tyler Scott and uh, Amber Shaw. But here comes our race leader, white flag at the ready. It's hanging down. One more lap to go. Might get the win for this one. First meeting back for Kane Della. Kane Della, the number 95. Three quarters of a lap to run. Caden Brown, Charlie Tay, will they be able to get up into that second spot? And then we go back a little bit further, which is going to be Chris Dickinson in that three spot. But our race leader, ladies and gentlemen, down the main straight out of turn number four. Checkered flag at the ready. Pretty close between two and three which is going to be uh, Caden Brown and Charlie Tate. And then we go back to Chris Dickinson and uh, Logan Brown. Looks like Amber Shaw sneaked in front of uh, Tyler Scott and Haley Dickinson to round out our first heat of our junior sedans with the next lot coming out next. Stay tuned for that one, ladies and gentlemen.
as we're about to get underway here for the second lot of our junior sedans out there on the track. Sean Kerwin off that pole sitting position. Summer Shaw, quick driver change. Here comes Zach Munro from the rear of the field, the 138. Yeah, I bet you he's going to slam straight to the front of the pack. Up the inside, he runs. He knows the track. He knows what to do. Zach Munro, our race leader now. Then we go back to Sean Kerwin. Kate Anthony. Uh, then we go uh, the number six, which is Jackson Goodwin. And Summer Shaw at the rear of the field. Absolutely apt flying around at the red dirt circuit as we run we go back to two and three bit of a bump there Get out my way from Kate Anthony to Sean Kell and I'm coming through no matter what you say Looks like the number six of Jackson Goodwin wants to join into the action too. Zach Munro's he's all the way out in the front now Entering one and two the rest of the pack closely following as we fly it on around, Zach Munro from Kate Anthony. Then we go back to Sean Curl and Jackson Goodwin and Summer Shaw at the rear of the field. Outside pass maybe for Jackson Goodwin over Sean Curl and down the main straightaway though. There's still our race leader, three laps done and dusted out of the 10 lap race. Starting to spread out a little bit now as we fly it on around. Cade Anthony, oh not Cade Anthony, he's in uh, second spot. Zach Munro's in that first place position though. As we fly it around, here comes Cade Anthony, the number 10, Sean Curl, and then we get back to Jackson Goodwin in the number 6. Uh, Summer Shaw in the number 3. Four laps done and dusted around the red dirt circuit. 138 down the main straightaway. As we closely make our way around now for the rest of the pack. Down the main straight into one and two for our second place contender, which is going to be Kate Anthony. Then we head back to Jackson Goodwin, uh, Sean Kerwin, and Summer Shaw at the rear of the field. 138 passes, five laps done and done. We're halfway home, I believe. We fly it on around, here comes Kate Anthony, the number 10, Jackson Goodwin, the number 6, Sean Kerr in the number 28th, and the number 3, which is of course going to be Summer Shaw, also in the mix too. Zach Munro, absolutely flying around the red dirt circuit, he knows it very well, he's from Kalgoorlie. As here comes Anthony, uh, Kate Anthony in the number 10. Cade Anthony in the number 10. He's going to be from Esperance coming up here just to race for the Kalgoorlie versus Esperance Challenge as we go back a bit further, which is going to be Jackson Goodwin. Jackson Goodwin is from Esperance as well for the Kalgoorlie versus Esperance Challenge coming up here to race our Goldfields drivers. Summer Shaw, she's from Kalgoorlie. And uh, Sean Kerwin. He's going to be from uh, Esperance as well. White flag out for our race leader, though, which is going to be Zach Munro. He's putting in a red-hot crack around the red dirt circuit. Down the back straight away. Oh, Sean Cowan got a bit topsy-turvy on the exit of turn four. Going green still. White flag out. And Sean... Uh, Zach Munro, he's going around out, our uh, race winner. He's going to win it for the heat number two for the street uh, junior sedans. Not quite street stocks yet. Street stocks coming out next, and I just heard that number nine is not going to be able to make it. Jamie Goodwin from Esperance. He's going to be a DNS, did not start. But that's going to round out our uh, junior sedans. Street stocks coming out very shortly.
Tanya Kemp off the pole, sitting start, Ben Ferris next to him. Jackie Barmore at the rear of the field next to Lockley Della. Luke Barmore slipping up on the outside now. Who's going to get the upper hand? Ben Ferris says, nope, I'm staying in this second spot. No one can get past me. Oh, Tanya, Tanya goes straight into the wall. Big prank there. Oh, my, oh, my. Who's involved with that one? That's going to be Tanya Kemp. Uh, looks like Luke Barmwell's in the mix as well. And then Ben Ferris also. But yes, not a good thing to see. One smack bang into the wall, which is Tanya Kemp. Ben Ferris facing the opposite way. Looks like we're going to park everyone along on the infield while we get all these drivers checked out. Yes, we're getting ready to rock and roll. We're stacked. We're racked. We're ready to rock and roll here in the golf fields. The Boise Equipment Calgary International Speedway. Two cars are OUT out. They look a okay though, which is good to see. We're about to get underway once again. Ben Ferris and Tanya Kemp, who started off pole and second, are OUT out. 
But mm. we're underway once again. We're absolutely flying, dipped up in and diving down the main straight away we run. Complete full restart, 12 laps on the clock. Might be able to keep track of them this time. Who's in that front position though? That looks like it's going to be Luke Barnwell next to him. It looks like it's going to be uh, Ky uh, Kyron Bridges, the number 99. As we fly it on around, turns number four into the main straightaway there. Oh, it's the number 98 of Jared Bridges. My apologies there. The number three, that's going to be Brendan Bridges up in that uh, top three. Here comes Jackie Barmold. You're not in the top three anymore. I am. And we head back to Kyron Bridges. And at the... Uh, never mind. He's pulling to the infield. That is Zane Humphreys, I believe. But yes, we are going strong. Bit of a... Uh, Lucy there on the main straightaway, tipping it into turns one and two. Then we go back to our race leader, which is going to be Luke Barmel, and following him is going to be Jack Barmel. He knows how to race. He built this track just about on the off-season. We're absolutely flying around the red dirt circuit. Number 98 and 99. 98 is Jared Bridges and Kyron Bridges, the two Bridges with number three behind them as well, which is going to be Brenton, Brendan Bridges. Nice and easy as we roll at the moment. Luke uh, Barnwell following Jack Barnwell, and then we go back to Jared Bridges, and then Kyron Bridges and Brendan Bridges with Zane Humphreys. Um, Zane Humphreys, O-U-T out, along with Ben Ferris and Tanya Kemp. We are going A-OK -okay though. The distance between first and second are slowly getting smaller and smaller. Luke Barnwell is not going to be able to hold that position for much longer. As soon as Jack Barnwell catches up, he knows all the good spots around the track. It's probably uh, just over a car length between them now. Almost bumper to bumper down the main straightaway. Barnwell in the 16, Barnwell in the 36. What Barnwell's going to get it? Luke Barnwell, Jack Barnwell. Then we head back. So uh, I believe that's going to be uh, Jared Bridges and then the 99. Nope. Kyron Bridges in the front of Jared Bridges. Then we head back to Brendan Bridges. Jack Barmel trying the high line. Luke Barmel says, nope, you're not. You're not going up there. I know your tactics. I know very well what you're going to try to do. Almost bumper to bumper around turns one and two. Back straight away. We run less than a car length between them now. Throwing it into three and four. One's on the infield. That's the number 98 of Jared Bridges. We're still going A-OK -okay though. Green light at the... Oh, green light still on. High line we run for Jack Barmel. Is he going to work it though? It looks like he might be able to work it around one and two. Not quite. Yes, he does. Down the back straight away. Jack Barmel. Luke Barmel says, no, you're not. I'm still on the inside. I might be able to get you still. Jack Barmel says, no, you don't. I've got the high side. I'm going to get in front of you. And he does that just about. Luke Barmel slips back. Jack Barmel, our race leader now. Jack Barmel, the 16, 36 of Luke Barmel. Then we go back to, I believe, that's the number 99 of... Um, Kyron Bridges, Jared Bridges behind and then we go back to Brendan Bridges at the rear of the field with the three cars, O-U-T out, Luke uh, Jack Barmore, our race leader last lap 16 I'm just going to say I was counting that, but I heard it over the radio. Jack Barnwell, one and a half to run. Luke Barnwell as well. Then we head back to the three bridges. Kyron, Jared and Brenda, uh, Brendan Bridge. Down the main straightaway though, white flag at the ready. It's already been dropped. Uh, Jack Barmore, our race leader. Then we head back to Luke Barmore sitting behind him. And then of course the three bridge boys at the back uh, of three, four and five. But uh, Jack Barmore started off at the rear of the field. He's going to gain that first place position for round number three of our street stocks division for the Kalgoorlie versus Esperance challenge. But yes, Jack Barnwell, Luke Barnwell, um, then we head back to Kyron Bridges from Esperance, uh, Kyron, uh, Jared Bridges, and then Brendan Bridges to round out our field with Ben Ferris, Tanya Kemp, uh, looks like the one, oh, Lockie Dallas on the infield too, yep, I, uh, I've seen that, but yes, that's going to round out our street stocks, production stands coming out next, stay tuned for that one, ladies and gentlemen.
Hope you're having a good night. We'll be back. Street uh, production sedans for round number three. As the green lights come on for our production sedan, so who's going to get the good start there? Jason Whitehead on the outside. Uh, Jeff Dickinson on that uh, second spot now. Robbie Borden sitting in the uh, rear spot now. Dwayne Omega in that three spots. Four cars out into the track. Doesn't look like Josh McAlpine is going to be in this one. DNS for him indeed. One lap done and dusted for our 12 laps. One down, 11 to run. For Jason Whitehead, uh, Jeff Dickinson, and then we head back to uh, Dwayne, I believe it is, and then uh, Rob Borden in the rear of the field. Bit of puff of smoke there from Rob Borden's car. Don't know what's going on there, but we're still going. Something dripped somewhere, but we're going nice and clean, thick smoke. Well, Bit of white smoke in turns th uh, three and four. Making a nice effect as they come through down the main straightaway though. That's going to be Jason Whitehead, our race leader. Then we head back to Jeff Dickinson, um, Dwayne Mega. And oh, looks like Rob Borden is going to be OUT out of this one indeed after he did not start the last one. But yes, our race leader is still going to be um, the 28 of Straw, the 28 of uh, Jason Whitehead. Jason Whitehead, our race leader. Three cars left onto the track. Hopefully, no one loses the wheel this time. Jason Whitehead, Jeff Dickinson. Then we go back to Dwayne Mega. Make her apologies if I'm pronouncing that wrong. But yes, three cars out on that track at the moment. Looks like 28 of uh, Jason Whitehead and then we head back to the 72 of Jeff Dickinson who's getting passed down the back straight away by number 25A which is Dwayne Megher but yes yeah, starting to spread out pretty dramatically around the track at the moment I'd reckon about a one turn distance between the first uh, driver and the second driver. And about half a corner distance between the rest of them. So we fly it on back to our first ra uh, first place contender though. In the B White Commodore, which is Jason Whitehead. Jeff Dickinson in the VY Commodore. Sitting in third place now. 
Slowly we make our way around the red dirt circuit. I've lost count of what lap we're on here. 25A, which is the VT Commodore. Three Commodores out to the track. Something's not right with Rob Borden's car. Not quite sure there, but he's on the infield. We don't need to worry about him. We're worrying about the race at hand, though. Jason Whitehead around uh, one and two into the back. Straight away we run. Jason Whitehead into three and four. Then we head back to Dwayne uh, Megha in the 25A, the VT Commodore. <coughs> and, of course, in the 72, which is going to be Jeff Dickinson, the VY Commodore. One, one and a half to run for our race leader, though. Absolutely flying around. We run into the main straightaway. Jason Whitehead, he's got one more lap to run around the red dirt circuit. He's from Kalgoorlie. He should know how to drive this track very well at the back of his hand. Jason Whitehead around three and four now. Out of three, out of three now into four. Now out of four into the main straightaway for our race. Winner of round number three for the production sedans is going to be Jason Whitehead. And then we head back to second place, which is going to be Dwayne Megher in the 25A. 72 of Jeff Dickinson, which is going to round out our uh, pro uh, production sedans, round number three. Sounds like Robert Waters from the late models is going to be O-U-T out for the rest of the night. Won't be seeing him out there. But speaking of late models, they're coming up next. Stay tuned for that, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we certainly are counting down to green for our late models out there on the track. Sean Cubbage off that pole starting. David Boy is next to him. Lionel Kirkby. And I'm not quite sure who's next to him. Adam Fle Fle Adam Fledrigan in the fourth spot. We're going green, though, down the main straightaway. Looks like it's going to be uh, Sean Cubbage. David Boy is our race leader, though. Sean Cubbage says, no, you're not. I'm in it. No, you're not. I'm in it now. David Boy is from Sean Cubbage, then we head back to Lionel Kirby and Adam Fladrigan in the uh, mix for the fourth spot now. We fly around to four and five, which is going to be Jeff Paul and the Perth boy of Graham Murray in the number 20. As we keep flying it on around, who's that behind him? That's going to be 28. That's going to be Jack Dolmans from Perth as well. Back at our race leader though, 12 laps on the clock. 11 to go now for David Boys. Sean Cubbage, uh, Lionel Kirby, our top three out there at the moment as we run. Running out there, top three, David Boys. Then we head back to Sean Cubbage, Lionel Kirby, 
Adam. Uh, Adam in the two, uh, 426. Then we head to, so we fly it on round three and four. Jeff Paul. Uh, after that, it's going to be Graham Murray in 20. 28, which is going to be Jack Dolmans. All starting to spread out a little bit now around the red dirt circuit. David Boys messes up a little bit. Bit of a bump there on the rear end of Lionel Kirby and David Boys. We're still going. Oh, one spinach is out. One smack straight into the back. One smack straight into the back of Graham Murray. And the one that smacked into him is going to be uh, Jack Dolmans. But yes, maybe a little bit of damage to his front right tyre. Fender maybe, I'm not quite sure. But yes, we're going to push it over there. What a good start from this late models race, round number three. And green, green, green down the main straight. We run single file to the turns number one and two. David Boyce from Sean Cubbage. Then we go back to Lionel Kirby. Adam Fladrigan on the outside of Jeff Paul, I believe that is. Then we head back to the rear of the field, which is going to be Graham Murray. As we dipped up and then diving around the red dirt circuit now. Still going to be David Boyce, our race leader. Uh, Lionel Kirby in that second spot. Jeff uh, Sean Cubbage into that three spot now. Adam Fladrigan into the fourth now. Then we head to... Nope, it's Jeff Hall in the third. Adam's in fifth. And then we head back to the number 20 of Graham Murray from Perth. The rest of these boys. Oh, one spins out. Don't know who that was, but they made a big dust cut. It's Jeff Paul. Nice save there from Jeff Paul. David Boy is still our race leader at the moment though. Then we head back to Lionel Kirby and Sean Coverage, our top three out there at the moment. Nice and solid we run though. Red dirt circuit, red mud, or red dirt is flying around the circuit. Loud pedals being pushed on by the red oh, by all drivers out there at the tr on the track. David Boys from Lionel Kirkby. Then we head back to Sean Cubbage. Adam Fladrigan in that fourth spot now. And then after that, it's going to be Graham Murray and Jeff Paul at the rear of the field. Starting to spread out pretty evenly around the circuit now. I'd say pretty evenly apart from uh, fourth and fifth. They're about the closest we've got. David Boys now, Whoa, never mind. Oh boy, I bet Paulie just, I bet Paulie, Paulie, Paulie just 
crapped himself. Oh my, that was very close indeed. Uh, as we get back to the race though, that leaves Adam uh, Fladrigan in that third spot now. <laughs> looks like... It looks like uh, Sean Coverage is going to join back into the race. David Boyd is along that high line now. Then Lionel Kirby in the second spot. Slowing down a little bit. So is uh, Graham Murray slowing down just a little bit. Seems like everyone's just about slowing down for some reason. Okay, we are... Oh, maybe the race finished and I just didn't see it. Oh, well. It's one of them. <laughs> I'm going to say that the race finished, but I didn't hear a white flag being called. So uh, I'll have to go chase that one up. But yes, I believe David Boys is going to win that one. David Boys, ladies and gentlemen, for round number three for our late models. Amcart Nationals coming up next very shortly. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. M Car Nationals getting underway. Green down the main straightaway. We run for Greg Horn, Steve Wright, Brett Morrison, uh, Murray Parson Senior, and uh, Sean Mazzy Kelly at the rear of the field. He's going to be fighting it out to get up to that front position. He has to pass the rest of the pack though. Brett Morrison and Greg Horn at the front having a nice scrap for the first place. Looks like uh, Brett Morrison's going to get around nice and easy. Sean Mazzichelli still at the rear of the field. Greg Horn slips to the infield, allowing Sh uh, Sean Mazzichelli to gain a position. As we keep it on going, keep it on going. Uh, Brett Morrison from Steve Wright. Then we go back to Gre uh, Murray Parsons Senior, uh, Sean Mazzichelli, and then Greg Horan to round out our field. Nice and easily around turns number one and two. Back straight away we run into three and four for our race leader. Then we head to uh, Steve Wright, he's in that second spot now, then Murray Parsons Senior, Sean Mazzichelli and Greg Horn in the number four at the rear of the field uh, Brett Morrison is still absolutely putting his foot to that loud pedal, he's not giving up anytime soon 12 laps on the clock not quite sure how many to go, I'm really going to start counting these ones but uh, Brett Morrison uh, and then we go back to Steve Wright, Murray Parsons Senior in the 69 and the 48 of Ashwell Massa Kelly and Greg Horan at the rear of the field. Looks like Sean Mazzichelli may be pulling off to the infield. He is indeed not a good thing to see right before the feature race, but he might be OUT out of this one. As we go back to Brett Morrison, he's still at race leader at the moment. Stephen Rice in the second spot. Murray Parsons Senior, Greg Horan get a bit topsy turvy on turns one and two. Oh, that's not the right way. That, yep, that's not the right way. Got to be facing the other way to go. <laughs> As we yellow lights come on. As Greg Horan calls that orange or yellow light for spinning out and stopping on the track.
And green, green, green down the main straightaway. We run single file for Brett Morrison, Stephen Wright, uh, Mo Parson Senior and Greg Horan. It's a one and two. We fly pretty even around the red dirt circuit at the moment. We're still going green. Not quite sure how many laps to go. 12. We started with 57s in the lead still. Then we head back to Stephen Wright. He's in that second spot, 69 of Mo Parson Senior. And then the number four, which is going to be Greg Horan who starts at the rear of the field now. He was already at the rear of the field, I believe. So I don't think it really mattered. Still going nice and easily around the red dot circuit. The Boise equipment, Kalgoorlie International Speedway for our AMCAR national uh, drivers. Uh, Brett Morrison in the 57, still in that leading position. Then we head back to Stephen Wright, who's given it a red hot crack in the 53. Murray Parsons Senior in the number 96. And then after that, it's going to be uh, Greg Horan in the number 4, W4. Not much action is changing around the track at the moment. Still our 57 car, that yellow car in the lead as we go back to 2, 3 and 4. They're getting a bit closer. Stephen Wright in the 53. And uh, Murray Parsons Senior in the 96 as they start to pull away from each other again. Greg Horan also in the mix too with Sean Mazzucchelli sitting on that infield O-U-T out. We've done just about 10.5 laps to run, 1.5 to run now. White flag at the ready for our four drivers out into the track. Brett Morris in the 57. He's got one more lap to run. So does Stephen Wright. And so does Mo Parsons Senior and Greg Horan. They've all got one more lap to run. Will they make a change? Will they not? I'm not quite sure. I don't think they will. But I know what's not going to change is going to be our first place position, which is going to be Brett Morris in the number 57. He's going to take it out, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to win round number three for the M Car Nationals going to be uh, Brett Morrison to round it out. In second place is going to be Stephen Wright who gave it a red hot crack and then 69 of Murray Parsons Senior and Greg Horan with Sean Matthew Kelly on the infield. But I do believe that it is uh, interval time now. So I uh, feel free to head over to the pits see the, uh, see the cars, meet the drivers Maybe even see a red, old, fat, jolly man walking around very shortly. Make sure you go to the canteen to grab a feed or go to the bar to grab a nice beverage of your choice. But yes, that's going to be interval, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back for our start of our feature races with the junior sedans. Hope you're having a lovely night so far. We'll be back with the feature races start. As we get underway for the first feature for tonight for the Esperance versus Kalgoorlie Challenge. Junior Sedans out to the track now for the first feature race. Into one and two we run. Who's that in the lead? That looks like Charlie Tate. Then it looks like we head back to 95 of Kane Odella. And one of the Brown boys, which is going to be uh, Caden Brown in that third place. Chris, uh, Chris Dickinson, uh, Amber Shaw. 
And then we head back to Tyler Scott and Logan Brown to round out our field out there at the moment. Seven junior sedan drivers on the track now. The young guns of the sport, Charlie Tate in the lead at the moment as they come around one, uh, three and four into the main straightaway. Kane Dell has got some work to do, catch up to first and overtake Charlie. Then we go back to the number 16, that's going to be Caden Brown, Amber Shaw. Also in the mix two, turning it sideways into one and two. Now into the back straightaway we run. Chris Dickinson in the mix two, Tyler Scott coming up as well in the, at the rear of the field. Is going to be uh, Logan Brown to round out everything. But yes, Charlie Tate still our race leader. Then we head back to Kane Dell. A bit of a mix max for three and four. Amber Shaw and Caden Brown. Bit of a bump there. High line. You're not going to get around me. I was just coming in front of you, so you can't get around me. Tyler Scott also in the mix too. Christopher, uh, Chris Dickinson sliding it sideways off turn number two. Into the back straight. He's, uh, he's enough off the uh, track. Uh, he can still go green. But yes, we're still going green around the red dirt circuit. It's still going to be Charlie Tate in the lead. Closely following is going to be uh, Kane Deller in the number 95. First race back for the season. First meeting back for the season after his uh, injury. But yes, Caden Brown. And then, oh, Amber Shaw taking over Caden Brown, actually. Never mind. So our new race order is going to be Charlie Tate, Kane Deller. Then we head back. To Amber Shaw, Caden, yes, Caden Brown, and then we head back after Caden Brown. It's going to be Logan Brown. Looks like Tyler Scott. Maybe, maybe OUT out of this race. Yes, I believe Tyler Scott maybe O U T out of this one, unfortunately. But yes, back at our 12, 15 lap feature race, it's going to be Charlie Tate still in our race leader, and then Kane Della quite the ways away, away, <laughs> quite the ways away, away. Um, and then we head back to Ambush Shaw. Caden Brown and Logan Brown to round it out. The two Brown boys at the rear of the field with two cars. O-U-T out. Slowly making our way, getting them laps done and dusted for our first junior race for the Esperance versus, Chal Esperance versus Kalgoorlie Challenge on this lovely Saturday night indeed. But our race leader out of turn two... And I wasn't paying attention, apparently. Maybe we finished the race. <laughs> okay. We m <laughs> Maybe I just wasn't paying attention and we finished the race. Never mind, we're not going to, that's not the finish of the race. <laughs> I was paying attention, but uh, yes, that wasn't the finish of the race. Apparently, that car on the back straightaway was indeed on the track when we were still going green or in the vicinity of the track. So, we're going to do a single file start, which is at the start for however many laps there are to go. As I believe that Logan Brown catches up to the rest of the pack. This might make it a bit interesting for our two front runners, uh, Charlie Tate and Kane Della. They're absolutely on that loud pedal as soon as they can. This might throw a bit of a spanner in the works, but we'll find out very shortly.
we go green out of turn four down the main straightaway, which is how starts single file we run. The first corner It's where it all changes. Kane Della behind Charlie Tate up on the inside. Can I find anywhere to pass it? Uh, young Charlie Tate in the 24. 24, then we go back to 95 of Kane Della. Amber Shaw also throwing her name in the mix as well. We head back to Logan Brown. Uh, then after that is Chris Dickinson and the other Brown, which is going to be Caden Brown, the number 21. Back at our front runner, though. Less than a car distance between them, never mind. There's a bit more than a car distance now between Charlie Tate and Kane Della. Amber Shaw lag behind that little bit more. Well, that's fine as we throw it into three and four now. Amber Shaw going the high line. Charlie Tate, nice and steady. Kane Della sees what he wants. He's going to go that midway track. I don't know. I don't know what that's called. It's not really a line for that. I'm just going to say mid-track line. But yes, we're still going strong around the red dirt circuit as we fly. Young Kano sending it in to three and four. Main straightaway for our race leader, though. That's going to be 24 of Charlie Tate. And then we head back to Kane Della. After that, it's going to be Amber Shaw, Caden Brown, Chris Dickinson, and Len Logan Dickinson. No, Logan Brown, I must say. Oops. But yes, yeah, slowly making our way around the track at the moment. Charlie Tate from Kane Della in the number 95. Emma Shaw in her sister's car, the number 3. Kane Della, I don't know what he's doing. He just took that high line. Emma Shaw says, I will take that from you. Thank you. I'm now in second place. Not quite sure what happened there. One and a half laps to go for our race leader, though. Kane Della on the inside of Amber Shaw down the back straightaway. What's going to happen here into three and four? Send it into three and four. Kane Della might have gone a little bit too hard. Amber Shaw gains a little bit of speed. Kane Della's not giving up to a foot on the loud pedal. One more lap to run for Charlie Amber, uh, Kane, uh, Caden, Chris, and Logan Brown. Our race leader about one turn away from winning this feature race. Kane Della's got one more turn to pass. Amber Shaw, I don't think it's going to happen, but the checkered flag, ladies and gentlemen, goes to Charlie Tate. And Amber Shaw grabbing that second place. Uh, Kane Della in the three. And then we go back to Caden Brown in the 16. Chris Dickinson in the 87. And, of course, 21 of Logan Brown to round out our first run of Junior Sedans. Junior Sedans' top stars. Coming out next is our new stars. We'll see Zach Munro will he be able to win that feature race like he has all night. We'll be back very soon when that occurs.
As we go green out of turn number four, Sean Kerwin straight to that infield. Zach Munro straight to the front. And uh, Kate Anthony in the second spot. Then we head back to Jackson Goodwin. Have a bit of a kerfuffle there. Quick car swap for the two Shaw girls. Now we got Summer Shaw in the car. And then we go back to Sean Kerwin in the rear of the field. As we go, nice and green though. One car spun it on turns. Number four, I believe that's going to be Cade Anthony. As we get our first restart for heat. Number two of the junior sedan. The new stars junior drivers. Zach Munro, Jackson, Jackson Goodwin. And then after that, it's going to be uh, Sean Kerwin, Summer Shaw, and then at the rear of the field. Now it's going to be Cade Anthony. Going green down the main straightaway for our five uh, new stars junior drivers. Zach Munro straight to the front, just as always. He's loving that inside line. Jackson Goodwin is sitting nice in that second place. Sean Kerwin. And then after that, it's going to be Summer Shaw to round out our field. Bit of a oh, almost side by side, just about side by side, almost three wide. Out of turns three and four, main straightaway we run. That's going to be Zach Munro, still our race leader. Then we go back to Jackson Goodwin, uh, Kate Anthony, Sean Kerwin, and Summer Shaw. Five junior sedans out onto the track, young guns of the sport. I certainly know who's a young gun. That's going to be Zach Munro. He should be racing upper class with the big boys. He's stuck in there, this one, but that is A-OK. -okay. He's giving it a red-hot crack up on the curb a little bit there. Zach Munro from the number six of uh, Jackson Goodwin. Then after that, we go back to Cade Anthony in the number 10. Summer Shaw in the number 3 car. And then it's going to be Sean Kerwin to round out our field of five junior sedan drivers. Nice and easily we go around the red dirt circuit. The Boise's equipment, Kalgoorlie International Speedway. The red dirt track of the golf field. Zach Munro, our race leader. He's in the 138 from Kalgoorlie. Then we go back to Jackson Goodwin. He's in the number 6. Uh, Kate Anthony in the number 10. One's going straight for the tyre wall around the big pit. I believe that's going to be Sean Kerwin. He is A-OK. -okay. He's back on the track. Oh, our race leader. T tipping it in a bit hard on turns 2. He corrects it though. He's still going nice and strong. What a good save there from our young driver, Zach Munro. Coming around R3 uh, and 4 now. As we fly it on around, we head back to, uh, I believe that's second and third. They're a bit closer. They're about the closest car we got on the track at the moment. Bumper to bumper around turns number two. About just over at car lengths. More, more car lengths now. Down the back straight away we run. With Jackson, oh, that's that's the. I don't know what's going on there with uh, Zach Munro. Just cut half that corner off, but that's fine. We go back to uh, second and third, which is going to be Jackson Goodwin, and then Cade Anthony. Summit Shaw in the mix too. She's in that fourth spot now. Sean Curlin, he's rounded out that fifth spot now. Zach Munro is loving that curb action down on the exit of turn four into the main straight. 
the main street of Kalgoorlie. As the rest of the pack slowly make their way around as well. Here comes Jackson Goodwin and Kate Anthony putting in a red hot crack. One spins it on turn four. Three and four. Quarter. Oh my, that was bloody close, I must say. Zach Munro must have been on that brake pedal as soon as he could. Not quite sure what's going on here. Sean Kerr and the ones that flipped it. He looks to be up and going once again. Which is hat start. He might think he's a straight stock. He's coming in the wrong direction, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, it looks like Sean Keller might be O-U-T out. Might have something wrong with his car. I'm not quite sure.
Six out of the 15, done and dusted. We got the last half to go. Zach Munro, our race leader still. Single file start with a witch's hat. Into turns one and two, we run Zach Munro from Jackson Goodwin. Then we go back to Kate Anthony and Summer Shaw with uh, young Sean Cowan being O-U-T out of this race. Zach Munro, I must say, he absolutely loves driving this Speedway car. He knows what to do. He'll be one of the drivers to look out for as he moves up the ranks in this sport. Zach Munro from Jackson Goodwin. Then we head back to Cade Anthony and Summer Shaw in the VM drilling car number three. Nice and easy as we go around three and four. Main straight away for the rest of the pack. All starting to spread out a little bit just now. Almost side by side, bumper to bumper down the back straight away for two and three. That's going to be Jackson Goodwin and Kate Anthony. Summer Shaw wants to throw her name into the mix too. Don't know if she's going to quite catch up in time. We're still going strong around. Turns number one and two now, out of the main straightaway. On the inside, that's going to be Cade Anthony past Jackson Goodwin. He's going to say, nope, I don't want that. I want my place back. I'm going to sm smack my nose in here and not let you pass side by side out of turns number four. Main straightaway now, Jackson Goodwin and Cade Anthony. Good race going on here between these two drivers. Wheel to wheel, front wheel to back wheel. Here comes a pass on the outside. Jackson Anthony, bit of a spin out there. Bit of a spin there from uh, Kate Anthony and Jackson Goodwin. Might be able to get a push in over there to see. If young Jackson is a okay after that one, he's rolling. He's rolling. We just like tricking the bush you drivers tonight. Apparently, oh yeah, I'll come over and help you. Yeah, I'm good to drive. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> but yes, we're gonna get him racked, stacked, ready to rock and roll once again here at the Boise's Equipment Kalgoorlie International Speedway. Turn number four, we run down the main straightaway for our four drivers out into the track now. Zach Munro straight to the front as always. After that, which is at start. Summer Shaw passing Jackson Goodwin at the rear of the field. Oh, he started off the rear of the field actually, I must say. Zach Munro not putting his foot on the lap pedal as much, letting the rest of the pack catch up. That's going to be Kate Anthony, Summer Shaw, and then Jackson Goodman at the rear. Zach Munro in the 138 from Kate Anthony, the number 10. Then we go back to the number 3 of uh, Summer Shaw with uh, Jackson Goodwin at the rear of the field in the number 6 car. Absolutely flying around. Their foot on the loud pedal, making these little junior cars go as fast as they can. Zach Munro from Kate Anthony. Here comes Summer Shaw up the back straightaway. Are we going to get a pass in turns three and four? High line, low line, inside, outside. Who's going to be able to get it around turns number four? We run main straightaway. Bit of a bump there from Kate Anthony and Summer Shaw. We're still going strong though. We're going green. Zach. Munro from Kate Anthony. Then here comes Summer Shaw from to position three. One and a half to run. <laughs> as the Chief Stewart sounded a bit worried as he almost forgot it. Nice and easily around as 
Summer Shaw gets that nice and easy pass. Zach Munro, one lap to go for our 15 lap feature. 14 done and dusted, one to run. Zach Munro from Summer Shaw. She's going to be absolutely thrilled with this one. Cade Anthony, and then we head back to uh, Jackson Goodwin. But out of turn number four, ladies and gentlemen, to round out our new stars, junior sedans, it's going to be Zach Munro to round us out. They are going to win it for our feature race. M, uh, Summer Shaw to round out that second place. And then we go back to Cade Anthony and uh, Jackson Goodwin with Sean Cohen being O-U-T out of this race. That's going to round out our two junior sedan feature races. Street stock feature coming up soon. 20 laps on the clock. We'll be back for that, ladies and gentlemen. Off the green light at a turn number four down the main straightaway going the opposite direction. Who's going to get the good start there? That looks like it's going to be Kyron Briggs and Jack Barnwell slipping and sliding into turns one and two. Now into the back straightaway we run for Kyron Bridges. Then we head back to Jack Barnwell. Looks like it's going to be Zane Humphreys also in the mix too. Who's that going to be next to him as we fly it on around? Looks like it's going to be Lockie Della in that fourth spot. We head back a bit more. Luke Barnwell. And then Brendan Bridges in the 98. That's going to be Jared Bridges in the at the rear of the field. That's going to be the number nine of Jamie Goodwin to round out our field. But back at our front runners though, one almost one lap done and dusted, slipping and sliding around turns three and four. Main straight away we run. That's going to be Kyron Bridges and Jack Barnwell. 
These two drivers putting on a massive show. Foot on a loud pedal. They know how to drive. Jack knows the track. As we fly it on around bumper to bumper around three and four, we run. Who's going to get the better hand, Kyron or Jack Barnwell? We go back a bit further. Is that going to be Zane Humphreys? Looks like it is. The number 39 of Zane Humphreys. Then we go back to Lockie Della. After that, it's going to be Luke Barnwell, then Brenton Bridges. Then after that, it's the number 98 of Jared Bridges. Then we add back to the rear of the field. That's going to be Jamie Goodwin to round out our field out there at the moment. Two laps done and dusted out of our 20-lap feature. Into one and two, we run for our two front runners. We go back in the pack a little bit more. Never mind, Jack Barmore on the inside in three and four. Is he going to be able to hold it? As we go, nice and easy, bit of a bump there. He looks like he's got that in the bag. He's got that first place now. Jack Barmel from our Kyron Bridges. Then we head back to Zane Humphreys, Lockie Della, uh, Luke Barmel, Brendan Bridges. Then after that, it's going to be the number 98 of uh, Jared Bridges. And then we head back to Jamie Goodwin. Nice and easily, we go around three and four into the main straight. Jack Barnwell from uh, Kyron Bridges. Nice and easily, we run around the red dirt circuit. Now we head back a little bit more where the action is. There's the number 98. He gets a bit topsy-turvy, but he holds it nice and strong, though. No, Luke Barmel, slippery, slidey into three and four. Now the main straightaway we run. Here comes Zane Humphreys, the number 39. He's sitting nice and comfortably. Here comes Lockie Della straight to the infield. He's at the rear of the field now. Not a good move. He was leading that round number two race. Nice and easy. Then he spun out on turns R1, or three and four. But I know he doesn't spin out very often. It's going to be Jack Barmel in the number 16. That yellow machine out the front. Then we head back to uh, Kyron Bridges in the number 99. Also in the mix too, Zane Humphreys sitting comfortably in three. Luke Barmwell sitting comfortably in four. Then we head back to Brendan Bridges and uh, Jared Bridges. Number three and number 98. After that, it's going to be Jamie Goodwin and, of course, Lockie Della at the rear of the field. And, oh, he's not going to be at the rear of the field for much longer. Looks like Jamie Goodwin's going to spin it out on turns three and four. We'll see if he can get it moving. I doubt the drivers could hear me, but Linton Dickinson said on the live stream, 35 bucks to whoever beats Jack, so does that mean if Jack wins, he gets an extra $35, Linton? Oh, I'm guessing that's what it is. I'm going to go with that one. I'm sure he will reply very shortly. But Jack Barn was our race leader out there at the moment. And then after that, it's going to be Kyron Bridges. This could make it a bit interesting as we go to a uh, which is has start. This puts these two front runners uh, just about one behind each other, as close as they want, as close as they're comfortably able to get. As we go, green out of turn number four, single file to start. Jack Barnwell, then we head back to uh, Kyron Bridges, our two front runners, Zane Humphreys in the mix too, Luke Barnwell. After that, it's going to be Brenton Bridges, then Jared Bridges. We go back a bit further, then we head to Jamie uh, Goodwin and Lockie Deller is in the mix there somewhere too. Around one and two, uh, three and four we run now into one and two. We're going the opposite direction. Callum, get that in your head. One and two we run now into the back straightaway. Luke, uh, Jack Barnwell. Jack Barnwell from, uh, then we head to Kyron Bridges. 
Looks like Hamish McAlpine's raising it up to 40 bucks, whoever beats Jack, but I don't know if anyone's going to be able to do it. Jack looks like he's in the lead now. Then we head back to Jared Bridges, also in the mix too. Luke Barnwell, he's making a red-hot crack on the loud pedal as well. After that, it's Brendan uh, Bridges. Then uh, we head back to the number 98 of Jared Bridges. I believe that's going to be the 195. Of course it is. It's going to be Lockie Della. After Lachlan Adela, it's going to be uh, Jamie Goodwin and Zane Humphreys at the rear of the field. Jack Barn will sit in comfortably in first place now. Behind him is going to be that's uh, number 99 car of Jared Bridges. Nice and easily we run. Bit of smoke come from Lockie's car. We're still going strong though for the 20 lap feature race of the Street Stocks. Kalgoorlie versus Esperance Challenge. Jack Barnwell from a car. Kyron Bridges in the number 99. We head back to the Luke Barnwell. Luke Barnwell. And then Brendan Bridges. After that it's going to be the number 98. Of course it is. It's another bridge boy. It's Jared Bridges. Lockie Della. Then we head back to Jamie Goodwin, and at the rear of the field, it's going to be Zane Humphreys. Well, we've raised it up to $135. I don't think it's really much raising. I think uh, Jack Barnwell's got this one pretty much in the bag, unless he can, uh, unless Kyron Bridges can pull out something absolutely amazing. Well, we don't know. I'm not quite sure how many we have left. Jack Barnwell, he's absolutely flying on his loud pedal. Then we go back to Kyron Bridges. After that, it's going to be Luke Barnwell and Brendan Bridges. Uh, one, two, three, and four. One car hit the infield. I'm not quite sure who it was. They made a big mess of the dust, though. There goes Zane Humphreys down the main straight, along with Jamie Goodwin in the number nine. Distance is closing between these two front runners at the moment. Might not look it, but it sort of seems like it. Jack Barnwell from um, Kyron Bridges in the number 99. Luke Barnwell and Brendan Bridges getting a bit close there as we keep it on flying around the track. It's going to be the number 98 of, I believe, that's Jared Bridges. White puff of smoke from Lockie Della's car. Zane Humphreys on the inside. He's going to snag that spot. Our front runner, though. It's still going to be uh, Jack Barmel. <laughs> that was a quick thinking act. One more lap to run. I don't know if these bets on uh, the live stream are going to be even worthy. Jack Barmel's got a half a lap to run. Half a lap into three and four we run. Jack Barmel, but here comes... Uh, Kyron Bridges, I don't know if he's going to get it. It's going to be pretty close. A couple of car legs between them, but there it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to round out our Street Stocks product, or Street Stocks feature race for the Esperance versus Kalgoorlie Challenge here at the Boise's Equipment, Kalgoorlie International Speedway. Jack Barmel, he's always on his game here at the Speedway. He absolutely loves driving this car. And he absolutely is amazing at driving it. But yes, Jack Barnwell, our race winner. Behind him is going to be Kyron Bridges, Luke Barnwell, Brendan Bridges, I believe. Yes, yeah, so that's going to round out our street stocks race. We head into our production sedans. We're going the right way this time. Production sedans coming out very soon.
As we go green out of turn number four, who's going to get the good start there? It's going to be Jason Whitehead and Jeff Dickinson off to a good start. Good to see Josh McAlpine back out and racing once again. That uh, looks like it's going to be the number 25A of Dwayne Mega. Bringing a red hot effort on his loud pedal. As we fly it on around into the main straightaway now, it's one lap done and dusted for these production sedan drivers. Still going to be Jason Whitehead, our race leader. And then we head back to Jeff Dickinson. And then we head to Josh McAlpine. And of course, at the rear of the field, it's going to be Dwayne Meghur in the number 25. Jeff Dickinson and Josh McAlpine getting almost bumper to bumper around three and four. Main straight away now, wheel to wheel, almost side by side down the main straight into one and two. Who's going to get the upper hand? High line, low line. Looks like it's going to be Josh McAlpine. He's going to slip up into that second spot. That is leaving Jeff Dickinson unhappy. He's in the third spot now. He wants the second spot though. Jo uh, Jason Whitehead down the main straightaway though. Three laps done and dusted out of the 20 lap feature. Jason Whitehead from uh, Josh McAlpine. And then we head back to Jeff Dickinson. And the number 25 of Dwayne at the rear of the field. Nice and easily we go around the red dirt circuit at the moment. Nice and steady from Jason Whitehead, the number 28. Then we head back to Josh McAlpine, the number 11. 72, which is going to be Jeff Dickinson. And Dwayne make her in the number 25. Six laps done and dusted. Getting this feature race over within a flash. Six out of the 20 laps done and dusted. Jason Whitehead absolutely flying around the track. Here comes Jason Whitehead down the main straightaway though, along with uh, Josh McAlpine and Jeff Dickinson. Unlucky that Travis Clark did not make it out for this one, or Rob Borden. They are going to be a DNS for this one. But Jason Whitehead in the uh, B White Commodore, absolutely killing it out on the track now. As we head back a little bit further, it's going to be uh, Josh McAlpine in the 4TE Cortina, putting in a red hot effort, bit of lap traffic there. Looks like um, Jason Whitehead's gonna pass him nice and easily. Here comes Josh McAlpine on the inside. A bit of lap traffic here. Nice and easily we go. I've sort of lost count of how many laps we've done. I was writing it down, but now I got distracted by something. But yes, we're still starting to spread out a little bit now. Uh, Jason White, Jason Whitehead from uh, Josh McAlpine. Then we head back to Jeff Dickinson. Oh, oh yeah, that's a bit, a bit of lap traffic there. I got a bit confused. But yes, just lap traffic from Jeff Dickinson. From uh, Dwayne Megher in the number 25. Jason Whitehead down the main straightaway into one and two we fly. Jason Whitehead from Josh McAlpine. Then we head back to... Jeff Dickinson and Dwayne Meghur.
Jason Whitehead down the main straight away off of turn four, absolutely killing it out there. Foot on the loud pedal, he's not giving up without a flash. Josh McAlpine down the main straight away as well. Jeff Dickinson along with Dwayne Mego in the number 25, bit of lap traffic there. Josh McAlpine makes his way around the red dirt circuit down the main straight away as well, putting in a red hot effort on his loud pedal. Jeff Dickinson, the number 72 as well. Jason Whitehead out of turn number four, starting to spread out pretty evenly around the track, I must say. One and a half laps to run out of the 20 lap feature for our four uh, production sedan drivers out into the track. Jason Whitehead, then we go back to Josh McAlpine, Jeff Dickinson, and Dwayne Mega in the 25. But one more lap to run for our race leader, though. He's absolutely killing it out there on the track. Jason Whitehead, one more lap to run for Josh uh, McAlpine as well. But as the white and black chicken flag gets ready to be dropped, it's going to be Josh Mc, uh, not Jason Whitehead to round us out as our winner for this one indeed. Production sedans, 20 lap feature. Done and dusted Josh, uh, Jason Whitehead, our race winner. And then we head back to uh, Josh McAlpine, Jeff Dickinson and Dwayne. And Dwayne Mega to round us out. That's going to round out our production sedans feature race coming up next. Late models, this is one we've all been waiting for. These things make the ground absolutely rumble. We'll be back very shortly when that when them cars start to make an appearance on the track.
Turn number four, we go green, green, green down the main straightaway. David Boyce with a good start there. Then we head back to, I believe, that is Graham Murray in the second spot. Lionel Kirby also in the mix too. Jeff Paul. Then we go back to Adam uh, Adam in the two, uh, 4 four two six. Cubbo in the number seven. And then after that, we're going to head back to the number 20, uh, 28 of Jack Dolman. Also in the mix too. He's giving it a red hot crack. Foot on the loud pedal. Feel the thunder in the ground. We're going green around one and uh, three and four. We run now into the main straightaway for our race leader, David Boys. Bit close, <laughs> bit close to the wall there, but we're still going strong as we fly it on around one and two now. Back straightaway for our race leader, David Boys. Then we head back to Graham Murray. He's absolutely killing it out there. His foot's on the loud pedal. He hasn't been doing this well all night, but something's clicked. Lionel Kogby in the mix too. Adam Fludger again, also in the mix too in the 4 two, six car. Jeff Paul trying to make it around him. Sean Cubbage at the rear of the field along with uh, Jack Dolman. Looks like Lionel Kirby's going to be able to get up and around into that second spot from Graham Murray. David Boy still our race lead. A bit of a bump there from Jeff Ball. He goes a bit sideways off turns two. He holds it strong. David Boy is down the main straightaway though. David Boy is from Lionel Kirby. Then we go back to the number 20 of uh, Murray, uh, Graham Murray. After that, it's going to be Adam Fladrigan in the 426. Then we go back to, I believe that's Jeff Paul. Jeff Paul and then Sean Cubbage. And at the rear of the field, it's going to be Jack Dolmans. David Boys and Lionel Kirby not giving up with it out of fight. Bit topsy turvy there for Graham Murray. Slips back a little bit more. Our two front runners still going at it though. David Boys and Lionel Kirby, number 90 and number 13. Not packing down without a fight. Might give the highlight a try, says uh, Lionel Kirby. Doesn't look like it's going to work out for him, though. We go back a bit further to Jeff Paul and Adam in the 4 2 6. Adam Fladrigan and Jeff Paul. Lionel Kirby still in that second place now. He's still trying that high line. It's not really working out for him. David Boy's loving the uh, inside line. Nice and strong as we run around the red dirt circuit. Bit of a curb hit there from Jeff Paul. He slips back a little bit more. Lionel Kirby slip, slipping and sliding around in one and two. In the back straightaway, three and four we run. Here comes uh, Graham Murray to throw his name in the mix too. He said he wants a bit of this action. He wants to get even better on the podium. David Boyes from Lionel Kirby. Then we head back to uh, Graham Murray, our top three out there at the moment. After that, it's going to be Adam Fladrigan and Jeff Paul Cubbo in the number seven. Nice and strong around the red dirt circuit at the moment. David Boys from Lionel Kirby and Graham Murray. Jeff Paul and Adam are currently, oh, not so much anymore. They were a bit close on one and two. Adam Fladrigan and Jeff Paul in the number 46. Might be coming up on a bit of lap traffic here very shortly from David Boys and the lap traffic of Jack Dolman. Down the main straightaway we run for one, two and three. As we go back a little bit further for the rest of the pack. Back a little bit further. It's going to be Adam Fludge again. Oh, a bit sideways there. Both of them are spun out in the exact same spot. Are we going to get the yellow lights? Are we going to stay green? Looks like we're going to be staying green. Maybe they're off the track enough. That was it's like a tandem drift moment, as we thought. We will go yellow. 
that that was pretty close indeed. Most both 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 of them just about did the exact same uh, slide out, which was pretty uh, ironic, I must say. But looks like we're getting back, ready to rock and roll once again. Day, uh, Sean Cubbage and uh, Jeff Paul, the ones that spun her out on uh, the exit of turn number two. So we wait for the yellow lights to start flashing once again to get this feature back up and underway. Uh, maybe this one, maybe next one. <laughs> We'll get them eventually, uh, hopefully. As we fly on around for the Witch's Hat starter, I believe. We're going to throw it on into one and two. Bit of sparks coming there from the number 20 of Graham Murray. We're still going green though. Round three and four we run. David Boys and Lionel Kirby. He's, a, he's in the lead now. Lionel Kirby has taken that race lead from David Boys. He's not happy about that one. He said, I want it back. I want that highlight, though. That way to be working out for me now. David Boy's in the second spot now. Lionel Kirby slipping up into the, the, uh, the first. Then we head back a little bit further. Graham Murray. And then Adam Fladrigan in that fourth spot now. Jeff Paul also in the mix as well. Here comes Sean Cubbage along with, uh, that's going to be Jack Dolmes. David Boyce has got some work to do now if he wants to get that front position. As we got one and a half laps to run for our late model feature, 20 lap feature. One lap to run for our race leader though, Lionel Kirby. He's going to be absolutely stoked with this one. David Boyce in that second spot, Graham Murray in the three. Those are your top three out there at the moment. They're still going strong. Lionel Kirby around three, around four, now into the main straightaway. He's going to be our race winner. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Lionel Kirby after that magnificent pass. But yes, he's going to win it, this one. Lionel Kirby. And then it's going to be David Boys. David Boys. And then uh, Graham Murray. Adam Fladrigan, uh, Robert, nope, Jeff Paul, uh, Sean Cubbage, and then Jack Dolmans. That is going to round us out for our late model feature. One more to come, Am Car Nationals. I like on the schedule, it's meant to be at 9.35. I don't think we're running to that schedule though, it's... Uh, it's it's 10 to 11, so I don't think we're running on that schedule anymore. But one more to come, and then we will be done and dusted, ladies and gentlemen.
Who's going to get the good start of this one out of turn four? We run. Brett Morrison on the inside. Sean Mazin Kelly. Then we go back to Sean. Uh, Murray Parsons Senior. Greg Horan and Steve Wright. Five AM Car Nationals out into the track now. Brett Morrison from Sean Mazin Kelly. Our race leader out there at the moment. Murray Parsons Senior. Steve Wright wants a bit of the action as well. Greg Horan in the rear of the field. Brett Morrison dipping and diving around three and four. Now into one and two out of the main straightaway. The main straight of Kalgoorlie on the red duck red track of the Goldfields which is the Boise's equipment Kalgoorlie International Speedway Brett Morrison from Sean Mazzichelli Steve Wright slipping up into that third spot now and then we head back to uh, Murray Parsons Senior Greg Horn in the number four Brett Morrison in the 57 putting in a red hot effort on his loud pedal around the red dirt circuit now Brett Morrison from Sean Mazzichelli. Then we head back to Steve Wright along with Murray Parsons Senior and Greg Horan at the rear of the field with the number four on his car. Brett Morrison with the 57. He's absolutely flying around here as we go into three and four out of the back street. Or back straight. Back street to Boulder. Main Street of Kegley now at a three, uh, three and four. Now into one and two. It's still going to be Brett Morrison from uh, looks like uh, Sean Mazzi Kelly and then Brett, uh, Stephen Wright, Murray Parsons Senior and Greg Horan. That's going to round out our five drivers out to the field now. 20 lap feature. Not quite sure how many we've done, but it's still going to be Brett Morrison, our race leader. Sean Mazzi Kelly's tr probably trying his hardest to catch up find a way if he can catch up to him. We go back a bit further. They're a bit closer together. Steve Wright and Murray Parsons Senior. About a car length or a bit, or a bit more between them now. Murray Parsons Senior at the rear of uh, Steve Wright. Then we head back to Greg Horn in the number four. Mazzy Kelly. Oh, what's going on here? Brett Morrison went up high. Well, he's lost a bit of ground. Lost a bit of ground. Brett Morrison from Sean Mazzy Kelly. He's catching up a little bit now. And then we head back to Steve Wright. Murray Parsons Senior. Greg Horn in the number four. On the back straightaway now. Looks like we've had a bit of topsy turvy. Looks like Brett Morrison and Sean Mazzy Kelly side by side. Bit of a bump there off turn four. Is Sean Mazzy Kelly going to be able to get it? He's going to be in the lead at the moment. What's going to happen after turns number one and two? Mazzichelli, Morrison, who's going to get it? Looks like it's going to be Sean Mazzichelli, our new race leader in the number 48. One's on the infield. Who's that going to be? Murray Parsons Senior. That leaves Greg Horan in the number four spot, leaving Steve Wright alone. Sean Mazzichelli from Brett Morrison in the second spot. Steve Wright in the three in the 53. Then we head back to Greg Horan. He's in the number four car. Murray Parson Senior after hitting the infield. Not quite sure what was happening there in the number 96. He's been gonna become lap traffic now. Sean Mazzi Kelly from Brett Morrison. Then we head back to uh, Steve Wright throwing his name in the mix too. Getting a bit closer to Brett Morrison. Greg Horan, a little bit lagging behind, along with Murray Parson Senior in the number 96. Sean Mazzi Kelly. Maybe getting some lap traffic. Might be able to pass very shortly. On the inside, he tries it. And looks like he's going to be able to get it now. Sean Mazzi Kelly, Brett Morrison, Steve Wright, Greg Horn, And at the rear of the field, it's going to be Murray Parsons Senior. Brett Morrison has to get around the lap traffic. If he wants to be able to get up that little bit further to uh, Sean Mazzi Kelly. Don't know if it's going to be act worth it, though. Looks like... Steve Wright's throwing his name in the mix too. He wants a bit of the action as well. One's going on the inside, one's going on the outside. What one's going to happen? Is he going to be able to work? Looks like Steve Wright might be able to pass him down the main straightaway. We run. Steve Wright slides up into the second spot now. Brett Morrison slips back from first to third. Leaving Sean Mazzichelli, our race leader still. Then we head back to Steve Wright. Stephen Wright in the number 53. He's in the second spot now. Bet you he's stoked. In this Amcar National feature race, 57 of Brett Morrison. And then we head back to the number four. He's going to be in fourth. How ironic from Greg Horan. And then after that, it's Mo Parsons Senior in the number 96. 
Nice and easily we take this around the uh, red dirt circuit. The Boise's equipment, Kaguli International Speedway. Sean Mazzichelli from Steve Wright. And then after that, it's going to be Brett Morrison, Mario Parsons Sr. And Greg Horan, he's having trouble getting around him. He's around him now. Greg Horan's around the lap traffic. Mario Parsons Sr. at the rear of the field still. Uh, Sean Mazzichelli, our race leader. And then we head back to Steve Wright, Stephen Wright, Brett Morrison in the mix too. Greg Horan, the number four. Uh, and the 96 of uh, Mo Parsons Senior. We must be getting these laps done and dusted pretty quickly. We must be getting near on to the end of it. Sean Mazzichelli from... Uh, that's going to be Stephen Wright in the 53. 57 of Brett Morrison, who's getting caught up to by, uh, I believe that... Yeah, that's, uh, I've lost my words. Greg Horan, it's getting a bit late. My voice is starting to go. What's happened to Sean Mazzichelli? He's, he's pulled into the infield. Oh, my God. I don't know what's happened here. But this leaves our new race leader. It's going to be Stephen Wright leaving uh, 57 of Brett Morrison in the second place. And then Greg Horan, he might be even able to get it. Never mind, I'm not quite sure what's going on with Sean Mazza Kelly. But the checkered flag's out. Stephen Wright, he's going to get that white and black checkered flag. He's going to round out number one. Uh, Brett Morrison, he's going to finish out two. Greg Horan, three. And Murray Parsons, senior. He's going to round out at the rear of the field. My, oh my, if only he knew that he had only one lap to go, he must have kept going. But yes, that is going to round out everything for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you had a lovely time, and give it up for our race winner one more time, which is going to be Stephen Wright in the MCAT National 53. But yes, that is going to round out everything for this meeting as we break for Christmas. Hopefully everyone has a lovely Chrissy and New Year's. And we'll be back for a very special day, the 23rd of December. I'll be turning 18 that day, so that'll be a special day for me. Along with the sprint cars and I'm not quite sure what else if I find my program. So we'll see. We got the speed cars, Kalgoorlie, and the wingless sprints on the 23rd of January. So we'll say good night, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you have a lovely Chrissy and New Year's. We'll see you back on the 23rd. Safe drives home and whatnot. Good night, ladies and gentlemen.